Hello, hello. And of course, Mike is doing that thing. Hello. Okay. Oh, good. I didn't do that for so long and now it keeps doing it. I have no idea why. Making coffee, I'm guessing you are correct. <laughs> Sorry for the uh, long wait there. Yeah, just taking it easy with some stardew again. Have a few goals for today. But um, yeah, I bumped uh, Twilight. I did put a community post up, but uh, if you didn't see that, I uh, bumped Twilight Princess to tomorrow because I have uh, family stuff at 12 tomorrow. So can't really stream to 6 tonight because that would be a little much. So we'll probably go to like 4.30 maybe. Um, so we've got about four and a half, maybe five hours. We'll kind of see how we go. I uh, have my notes, have a couple of goals, which I forgot to write. But yeah, I, I put uh, notes, so I hopefully remember like TV and checking Fruit Cave and things like that. Um, what else was I putting? Yeah, hello LK. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you. I assume you're uh, satisfactorying. Hello Jess. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you. And uh, yes, I was making coffee, which I'm going to very much enjoy. Hmm, that is good. Hello streamer. Hello Flaze. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Five hours of Stardew, yes. And hopefully tomorrow night we'll be able to do like six or maybe seven hours of uh, Twilight Princess. Bruh, I didn't notice you were making five hour streams. Yeah, yeah, I try to like, some end up a little bit shorter, but um, I try and generally do like five, six hours. I thought you ended like three hours in. Oh, okay. No, they're like, I mean, there's probably is some three hour ones, but they're like, yeah, exceptions. I think like four and a half hours is maybe my low end. Usually. Um, yeah, I, I try to generally start around like 12 for me and go to around six. Um, but it does bounce around a bit, but yeah. Ideally, I would be going around six, uh, as normal, but yeah, they, they probably end up closer to five sometimes. We've had a few longer ones. Uh, I have done some seven and eight hour ones. Uh, what are we doing? Not much for the first day while I sip my coffee. All oh, right, we have, we have all the things. I don't know what my longest one was. I think, uh, must be like eight and a half. Do we, I don't know. Can I check by time? I'm kind of curious now. Hmm, sounds like a way to burn out. I'm totally supportive of the schedule. <laughs> That's been pretty good. Yeah, like my recent ones, for example, were like 5 hours 18, 5 hours 19, 5 hours 9, 7 hours 18, 6 hours 40, 5 hours 20, 6 hours 50, 6 hours... Uh, yeah, I try to kind of go in that range, but there are some that are closer to four, but when things are good. Dear Mana, notice a chill in the air? It could just be the approach of winter, or it could be the tingle of a dark spectre. Here to help us celebrate tomorrow's festival, the Spirit's Eve. Come to town at 10 p.m. if you'd like to participate, Mayor Lewis. Right, we are, we are nearly at winter, huh? Hmm. Right, but uh, yeah, got a, I got notes for today, which is Wednesday Sun TV recipes, check fruit cave, calendar for birthdays, which I forgot to check already. Uh, fishing quest, we have to finish. Uh, goals, deluxe barn, deluxe coop, kegs, one more bait fishing thing, and more sprinklers. They're pretty rough, so uh, yeah, we'll hopefully be aiming towards that kind of stuff though. And hopefully I'll look at my note often enough that I do remember the recipes and checking the calendar. 
I don't think we had any more birthdays this month though. We had grumpies. I think that was it for this month. But this is why I make notes. Check calendar. Six, you're an insane streamer, man. I kind of built up over time, but I, I've gotten like pretty comfortable doing six hours. It is a lot when you think about it. Uh, but I, I managed to ramble my way through and I enjoy it, so I'll keep doing it while I can. Well, hopefully for a very long time to come. Here's Blueberry. <laughs> No, well, I'll take it. Blueberries are pretty tasty. I can barely play Stardew for two hours. Most is four. Oh, okay. I mean, Stardew is still pretty new for me. So, like, when I play a new farm sim, uh, I get pretty hooked into the, the loop and building up and making money and upgrading. And, yeah, it keeps me, uh, keeps me engaged. So, works for me. Oops, I forgot to put my uh, screen back. But yeah, we did a few longer Stardew. We did a uh, 7 hours 20 pretty recently. Most of them have been closer to, yeah, 5, 6. Let me just put that back. Um, they're fine. What do we have to water? I could eat in, back into the routine. Well, oh, I guess winter's coming, right? I was going to say, we'll try and avoid like having to... Uh, water things next month, but uh, that won't be an issue, huh? Getting some goodies today. All of these are 1k each, so it's nice. Oh shit, right, my... Okay, that's what I meant to add to my, uh, my notes. Close barn at night. Although that needs to be paired with opening it the day. Yeah, I should make this the first part of the routine, really. Go in, give pets, get milk, open up. It does make things a lot easier when they're in here. Is it milk day? Yes, it is. I'm going to admit, I come across to these streams 75% because the game and 20% for the little farm guy and 5% because I'm bored. Uh, I'll take it. Always uh, appreciate seeing familiar names. You don't really need to close the door. Yeah, yeah, I hadn't previously, but like, um, it does give a small bonus, as I understand. I don't know if that's new. It does give a small bonus to, um, what do you call it? The affection. But more so, it's easier to run around and do the affection and milk, and then I can let them out. It would help if I was paying attention to what I got. Brain kind of went on autopilot there. Yeah, I don't know how much it gives. I don't know if that's new, but I, I remember reading something about it uh, helping. But yeah, it's more just to keep them uh, in here so it's easy. To oh shit, we just got large goat milk. Oh, yes. That is what we needed for the greenhouse. Awesome, awesome. That is really nice. We're about to come up in winter and we'll have the greenhouse. Ah, that is very nice. I had been waiting on that. <laughs> Went all the way to the end of the last stream without getting the large milk. Then we get one first day. <laughs> that is good. Uh, excuse me, I want that egg. Okay, is everyone petted? That is so convenient. How close are you completing the community center? Ah, uh, still a long way to go in some. Like, this is only my first year of this farm. Um... So like pantry, I am about to complete now that we have the large goat milk. So we'll have the greenhouse. Crafts room is just waiting on the winter foraging. So that'll be, that'll be done soon. Fish tank is none of them are done. Vault, none of them are done. Uh, I've been building up money to get the deluxe coop and barn. So we'll get around to the vault. Bulletin board's a little all over the place. We're kind of, kind of getting there. Uh, good progress, I think, though. Like, I'm definitely progressing better than my first farm, so... I'm feeling pretty good about it. And thank you, I did miss an egg. Hello, Tuzzy, good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Uh, oh wait, whoops. No, it was open. 
I assume they'll come out. There you go. Oof, they're done too, right. Won't be the most productive first day here. I'm always a little slow getting back into the routine. I'm going to have my coffee before it's cold. Yes, we need to go to the community center. Because I want greenhouse access. Well, I guess we can just do that after. That's not urgent. It'll come up tomorrow. Uh, what do we, what do we need? Let's get some pumpkins. Uh, some emojis. I think they go in here. Oops. Clicked off. Oh yeah, we got our first bee house last time, didn't we? I really want to get a lot of those. What do we what do we need for them? Right, I right, yeah, we uh we're going to need to do some mining trips today for sure. I really just need some, well, pretty much everything. Copper, iron, and gold would be very helpful. Because I want to get more kegs, bee houses, many things, but kegs are probably priority. But uh, I want to get another one of them just to keep a good supply of bait going. Do other things. Uh, what do we want? One of them. Pop those away, pop those away. Oh, inventory messes pain. I think they're all bopping. The house are expensive, even for me. Why does it even need iron? Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't even know how beneficial they are. I just personally really like bees, so I'm more doing it for the sake of it. So it's a little bit less on the priority list, but we'll, uh, we'll get there. What else is it? Yeah. Uh, why does it need coal? Yeah, the eight coal is kind of rough on me. I need a lot more coal. They will be good. Oof, let's fix our inventory. Er, bait, where the hell do you live? Right there, apparently. Oop, missed some cheese. Oh, and mayor. Hiding between the milk. Uh, do we have anything else for the community center while we're here? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. We need to go to Gunther as well. We've got five things for him. Just double check the mineral chest as well. Oh, yeah. Emerald. Okay, we've got six things for him. Three things for community center. And that'll also, yeah, get us the greenhouse. That'll be very nice. I don't know what we're going to plant in there, but I have some broccoli seeds. I think wood is enough. That would be, uh, that would be better. <laughs> We've got a crap load of trees planted around, so we'll be good for wood uh, sooner than later. Just got to wait for them to grow. Where am I going? I'm taking the long way. This is what happens when I go on autopilot. I have great news now that I'm basically in the end game of the true fiction. Can't believe I'm saying that I organized my chest. Oh, nice, nice. I'm keeping semi-organized, but it's, uh... It's gonna get worse. They close at 4, don't they? Oh, of course you do. Literally 4 p.m. If I took the right way, I would have... Uh... Oh, wait, I'm going here. Same problem? No, 6 o'clock. Okay, all good. Totally according to plan. Brain is definitely working. No worries. Absolutely. 
What? No prizes? Oh, something. Starver it seems. Standing geode. Maybe you burn coal to make smoke, but I think you're cooking the bees instead of making smoke, maybe. <laughs> Not ideal. But yes, uh, organized chests must be uh, very nice. I really need to improve mine because like, I kind of know where things are, but I'm kind of ignoring that some are filling up and getting out of control. <laughs> All right, community setup. Like the purple chest in particular has just become, it should probably be like three different chests at this point. It's kind of just like a personal chest where like things that were miscellaneous, but yeah, it's kind of gotten, gotten a bit out of hand. Uh, is it this one? I, I always mix these up. Nope. Naju is the only game that can make you think so much, but also so little because you go autopilot. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't help me with streaming. I'm very like in the moment, then like I start talking about something and then, you know, yeah, just kind of go on autopilot and don't quite think about where I'm going and, yeah, do things like not take the minecart. No, well, still, we got there. The house was empty for years. The trees moved in and so did we. Oh, -ho, looking good. Can we use this kitchen? Guess not, huh? That is the greenhouse, which I am very happy about. All right, we had a couple of fish to drop off while we're here. Less exciting, but still good. Which speaking of, right, we have three days. We better catch six fish because we've got a festival tomorrow, don't we? Uh, I guess we can plant star fruit in the, uh, whatchamacallit, greenhouse. Oh, see, another cheese press. Nice. I did want to make another one of those. So that works for me. Uh, but yeah, let's just go catch six fish real quick. Do we have bait? We do not. Let's grab our bait and then we'll, uh, get that quest completed. Ooh, coffee. Now, wow, you really complete the pantry before the craft room. You truly are insane. Now you get the greenhouse, enjoy your money for days. Yeah, I'm doing, I'm way ahead on certain things compared to my first farm, so I'm quite happy about that. I don't know what I want to put in the greenhouse exactly. Uh, I have one squash seed, and I, uh, wait, what do we have? Yeah, I got 12 broccoli seeds. I was going to put them in. Um, but yeah. Oh, right. I got the, um, I got the rare fruit thingy too, didn't I? Sweet Gemberry. How do I get a star drop from that? I know that's a thing, but I have no idea how to actually get it. And yeah, this chest needs to become more chests. It's gotten a little out of hand. I think like last time I put a chest inside my house for certain things. And that seems like, that seems like the way to go. Let's put a chest here. That can be like clothing and various things like that. Have you got the ancient seed yet? Ah, uh, no I don't. You take it to Cindersnap Forest? I won't spoil much, so just look around. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, no, I haven't got the ancient seed. I did on my last farm, but I don't think I did anything with it. Oof. All right. Uh, sell. Uh, okay. Well, fish. Uh, we still got a couple days, but we'll try and sort it. I just want to fix a couple things here. Yeah, this purple chest kind of got out of hand. 
So let's grab those. Grab the clothing ring. Still chaotic, but better. Kitty, how you doing? Got our weapons, our slingshots, our hats, our top that we got from fishing, I think. Yeah, that works. Uh, let's put our geode. You can go right here. We really need more plants. Uh, okay, starfruit seed, you can go in here for later. You go here. Uh, all right, I want to grab bait out. I did not put that away. Being honest, every time you say something from my six, I just really like, oh yeah, squash. Must have missed that before. Totally not new. Yeah, I don't like, I skimmed the 1.6 patch notes, so I'm probably in a mix of things. Like I'm running into things that I just didn't know of or they're 1.6 since like I'd only played one and a half years, I guess, before this farm. Um, yeah, I don't know what's new because I got, um, like that were like, uh, what do you call it? From the little wiggly things in the ground. I got some squash seeds. I also got regular carrot seeds. And then I forget where I even got the broccoli seeds. I think that was from mail or something. But they're in these like different pouches. So I don't know if they're all new or... But um, the broccoli ones, uh, yeah. Takes eight days and continues to produce. The squash also continue to produce. So I thought I would put them in the uh, green greenhouse. May as well plant the star fruit. Oh, we can get some coffee going too, maybe. It's not a high value thing, but I wouldn't mind getting a, a bit going. Uh, right, gotta refill those. Put our new cheese press down somewhere. Hmm. Okay, we'll... We'll reorganize. It's fine. Definitely fine. Ish. Er, yeah. Okay. See you streamer. I'm going to return later. No. Oh, well, thank you for stopping in place. I appreciate it. We'll chat again sometime soon, maybe. Hello, welcome. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. What are, what are you up to today? We'll go try and get a couple fish. I mean, we can warp totem home if we uh, if we want to. Controversial opinion: the Stardew Valley VTube avatar should be the profile. See ya. That could be yeah. Uh, I I do like the farm hat. <laughs> it uh, it fits quite well, considering it was like a free asset I found. Yeah, be well. Appreciate you stopping in. I think we'll still have one day after the festival, but we're probably best to try and get uh, six now if we can. Just real quick, and yeah, we'll tote them home if we have to, I think. Because I really should get more bulletin board quests done. I was a bit slack with those uh, last farm. Your VTube avatar can have a different hat for different games. Yeah, yeah, I've got a, I've got a few assets uh, to use. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Definitely a lot better with this fishing rod at least. The, the, uh, the Luigi one should have Mario and Bowser. And for the fantasy ones, maybe the hat of the main character. 
Yeah, I've got a, I got a few things, but like sometimes it's hard to find assets just because of uh, the shape. Like Chibi's head's kind of big. Um, I forget my toggles. That's the couch. Oh yeah, I, I do have these, uh, thanks to Jess. I do have my, uh, my Zelda set. Which are very nice. I also have a Zelda hat recently. Uh, that Jess also found. Well, Jess made these. But I also have a Zelda hat I'm going to try out when we start Twilight Sword. Tw Twilight Sword? Twilight Princess. But yeah, I do very, I really like this toggle. Yeah, it can be awkward to find things sometimes. Um, but the nice thing about, like, the chibi design is it's very simple. So, like, if something is actually drawn for it, like, all the line work and everything's a lot simpler than, you know, some very highly detailed, realistic kind of VTuber thing. So, uh, it's nice in that way. Like, the farm ad is, like, super simple, but something like this might look weird on a, you know, very detailed, shaded kind of full size thing. Oh, you little shit. Stop bouncing. This avatar is the best one. Zelda Farmer. <laughs> but yeah, I really love Chibi in general, honestly. Like, I was so happy with the commission. And the fact, like, the person who actually made Chibi, like, was super good to work with. They were, like, really easy going. Um, and they provided me the source files for the actual rigging at no extra cost. So, um, Chibi's kind of future-proof in that way. Like, I can edit the rigging. Not that I have the software and things for that right now. But, like, in general, um, Chibi is, uh, very future-proof because I have the source files. So, that's, uh, that's nice too. Because it would be cool to learn, like, rigging in the future to, uh, further improve things. I mean, I think it's pretty good in general, but... It, uh, it is nice having the actual source files. Ooh, that one was a bit rough. What are we at? Okay, we only need three more. Sorry, let me uh, catch up. Uh, Tozzy, my real name is Marcus, but you can call me Mark or Arkham if you like. Oh, sorry, you're replying to Tozzy. <laughs> gotcha. Do you, uh, do you have like a preferred name? I usually go with Arkham because Arkham Kratos is uh, longer. But uh, if you have a preferred name, let me know, and I, I will do my best to remember. Zelda set, you played Tears of the Kingdom yet? Yeah, I have a, like, uh, 150, 160-hour uh, playlist of uh, Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> we, uh, we did a lot of streams on that over quite a while. And yeah, planning to play Twilight Princess starting tomorrow. And long term, I want to play Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, and Wind Waker. But yeah, the, uh, I think the Tears of the Kingdom playlist got to like 160 hours or something. That was, that was very fun. It got way more stretched out than it should have, like, like way more. I mean, in terms of me not playing it for gaps and coming back to it, but, um, very fun time. Oh, whoops, whoops. The only bad thing about fishing is it's like, it feels like a time to look at chat, but it's super awkward to look at chat when you're trying to control that. So, uh, this symbol design is a lot easier to look at than the detail one. And before I leave, why do you have the Zuko-like burn on the face from Avatar? Oh yeah, kind of uh, Zuko-like, isn't it? Um, it actually comes from... Uh, the inspiration for the original mana design was inspired by, like, a couple of different characters sort of mashed together. And then one particular artist kind of, like, took it further and solidified the mana design, like the actual large one. Um, but the eye part comes from... Uh... Give me half a second. Yeah, it comes from uh, Rokuro of um, 
Where are we at? Just trying to find an actual example picture. But from our Tales of Bazaria. But I hadn't even thought about the Zuko comparison. Huh. Yeah, because the original Mana design, when I didn't really know what I was going for, was like a blend of, um, yeah, Rokuro from Tales of Bazaria and a fake character and someone else. I'm trying to find an image I can link, but... Eh, it's not the best. There's one example of Rokuro if you're unfamiliar. But uh, yeah, the the eye part came from there essentially. It's not the best picture, but if you look up uh, Rokuro, if you're curious, I can't believe I hadn't thought about the Zuko thing though. That's huh. Oh, we just need one more. Arkham sounds better for you. Okay, cool, cool. Blame mana method. Well, perfection does take, uh, take some risks. Which Zelda game is more enjoyable? Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom? Um, I mean, they were very different experiences for me. I feel like Breath of the Wild, in certain ways, is going to always be more memorable to me. Because I, I found, like, exploring the world for the first time to be such, like, a unique experience. Um, especially being able to go into it, like, on launch day, knowing nothing about it. So, you know, walking around the world, like, every corner, like, was something new, every little, you know, and there was no kind of crazy travel unless you made something glitchy. <laughs> so, yeah, it was, like, a very, very unique experience. Oof, I left that loot very late. Oh, that's where that goes. Oh, damn. I don't want to know how much we're going to lose for that. That's nice, though. Uh, anyways, my head can is you got burned by your father in the Fire Nation. <laughs> no, that works. There is some potential lore, but, uh, yeah, I, I, mana design was originally inspired by a few people. Need my own lore, though. One day. Oh, 1500 for that. Well, we went up, but what did I lose? I was not smart. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Breath of the Wild, yeah. It was just such a unique experience exploring that world. Like, I have such a nostalgia for that. Like, I don't think any other open world has quite hit that for me. Um, I also played Breath of the Wild by myself, kind of binging it out. Versus uh, Tears of the Kingdom streaming, the whole thing, so... Definitely a very different experience doing that, too. Uh, though I, I certainly had a lot of fun streaming it. Yeah, it'd be hard for me to, like, really say one or the other, just because... Both were very different experiences. Both were very good experiences. Should have listened to Ozai. Instead you are Agne Cade. <laughs> uh, I kind of want to watch the Avatar series now. I'd been meaning to re-watch re Avatar for ages. It's so good. I should really do that. I've been meaning to do this so long. Alright, kitty. Which uh, which one did you prefer, uh, Arkham? Uh, that away. Uh, bait can go on. Trash in there. Uh, amphibian artifact. Oh, something for Gunther. 
All right, how much did I lose? Hi, Mana. Thanks for your help with the fish. Nature is usually good at keeping things balanced, but sometimes artificial factors can cause an imbalance. I've enclosed the blueprint from a science magazine that you might find interesting. Demi. Farm computer. Oh, yeah, I never made one of those. Last night, a Joji member team found you incapacitated. A medical team was dispatched to bring you home safely. We're glad you're okay. You've been built a thousand Gs for this service. I literally just passed out in my back, in my front yard. And you're making me pay a thousand. And you know, I wasn't just drunk and felt like sleeping in the yard. Ay, ay, ay. Having to pay for passing out on my own land. Have you watched Legend of Korra? A poor victim of everybody being a critic and not watching him themselves? Yeah, yeah, I really loved it, honestly. I didn't know that some, like, it, it seems some people are really weird about that show. I really enjoyed it. I watched it years ago. I, yeah, I liked it a lot. It was very different, but yeah, I really liked it. I actually really want to rewatch that as well. Because it's been years. Anyway, see, for real, I'm getting way too distracted. Uh, appreciate you being here. Hope you, uh, hope you have a good rest of your day, or uh, I'll chat later, one or the other. Yeah, appreciate you being here. Hmm, I actually forgot about Legend of Korra for a while. Damn. Because I, I remember really liking it. I've got a really high quality copy of uh, Avatar. I, I am definitely going to watch that. I am actually going to add that to my notes so I don't forget about it. It's one of the things where like I think about it, like I re want to rewatch it, then I don't start it. Then suddenly it's a couple months later. I'm like, oh my god, I was going to rewatch that. This has happened multiple times. I wasn't a big fan of Breath of the Wild at first, since it was such a big change to the Zelda series, and I didn't play much open more games, so it took me a while to finally enjoy it. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's kind of an interesting uh, dynamic there. Like, the kind of group of people who had played a lot of Zelda games, but haven't played a lot of open world games. Uh, that would have been a huge change. Ah. Uh. That is, in fact, a milk bucket and not a watering can. I knew that. I think I forgot to water these yesterday. Fortunately, we're still going to be okay on time. I'm back. <laughs> See, I knew I wasn't the only one who liked it. People just hate it to hate it again. I'm getting way distracted. I'm quick before I get distracted again. <laughs> well, I appreciate you being here whenever you are here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, I... Yeah. I don't remember any problem with it. It was very different, but I, yeah, I liked it. It was, um... God, I don't know how many years ago I watched it, though. But yeah, I'm definitely going to rewatch that after Avatar, for sure. I'm going to really enjoy that. It's nice, too, because I can watch, like, things like uh, Avatar, something I can watch while I do other things, even if I want to pay attention to it, like, it's nice. There's a problem with anime. I can't really work and watch anime. Doesn't doesn't really work so well. Reading subtitles while working is uh Well that takes skill. What is stopping a bucket from being a water again, damn it? Yeah, I mean they're they're similar. I should be able to fill the bucket. Here we got nugget, nugget and chow, huh? Where might you be, chow? Oh, there you are. Hello. Oh no, not milk day for you guys. Oh, I'll try again. Now, nugget, is that you? There you are. And I milk you. Nope, all good. Grab our eggs. Uh, right, what was the same before? Oh yeah, Breath of the Wild. Yeah, that's a really interesting like dynamic that. Uh, how long did it take you to get into it, Jess? Like, it must have been such a huge change.
Okay, we good. Did I pet the cat? Yes, I did. Oh, we're uh, four and a half. Nice. Very curious about getting the second pet. Last one, holy crap, the only anime I like is Saitama, and a space opera one. Others too much fan service, see you for good. One Punch Man, I'm out for good. I love One Punch Man. I, uh, after the second time I watched the second season, I ended up going and reading the manga, and I binged the crap out of it for like 11 hours straight, and that caused some problems. But it was very good. And, uh, space opera one, that makes me think of, uh, Space Dandy, but... I don't think that's that. <laughs> Space Opera 1. Uh, the Legend of Heroes? Wait, is that not... That doesn't sound right. What am I thinking of? That's not the name. That is a... That is a different... That is a game series. Damn, what am I thinking of? Oh, that's gonna bother me so much now. Okay, I'll only be a second. I need to... Oh, what is that sh What am I thinking of? It's like, compared to Star Wars, it's quite long, it's amazing. Oh, does anyone know the anime I'm thinking of? It's got like a hundred episodes. Ah, oh, I can't think what it's called. I give up, man. It's Legend of Galactic Heroes. Oh, that is, that's the one. Yes. Ah, oh, that was bothering me so much that I couldn't think of the name. Yes, Legend of Gal- and yeah, I thought Legend of Heroes in- that, that sounded like a thing. Yeah, I'm so bad with names, even with, like, yeah. Yeah. Legend of the Galactic Heroes. Ah, so good. Yeah, that is the one. Okay. My brain is- my brain is satiated. <laughs> For the lack of a better word. For me, perfection, everything I want in space, Robert. Yeah, it's so good. I haven't watched, like, the more recent stuff. Wait, you know what Legend of Galactic Heroes is? Yeah, yeah, I love it. I have, a, like, a really high-quality, uh, way oversized download of it. Yeah, what is it, like, 118 episodes or something? Was it, is, am I right? Something like that. Sorry for the pausing, I'm getting distracted by good shows. Oh, 110 episodes, yeah. Alright, sorry. Uh, feather, you go here. Oh, right, we have the greenhouse now. Awesome, awesome. Not that I have sprinklers for it. There is that problem. Hmm, what should we do about that? If you're good now anyway, it'll took me a while to watch Legend of Korra. Just believe the critics. Oh, okay, yeah, no, it's, it's a good watch. But I uh, yes, see you for now. Uh, yeah, I don't know that many people who've uh, watched Legend of Galactic Hero yet. Legend of Gal the Galactic Heroes, but, uh, yeah, it's a really good one. It's, like, a slower one, but it's, like, I don't know. It's, like, Star Wars without the force and, like, slower and more space battle stuff, and, yeah, it's great. There's also new seasons. I think it's called Legend of the Galactic Heroes, the new thesis. See, I'm not coming to get you more, no worries. Yeah, I'd seen that, uh, I'd seen stuff like that come up. I haven't checked it out at all, though. I've been meaning to, that's another one I've wanted to rewatch because it's been so long. 
But yes, see you for now. We will chat again. Um, yeah, we have some seeds I want to put into there. I guess we'll just water them manually for now. I could take some of the... I mean, because we're at the end of the season. Oh, right. Actually, of course. Yeah, we may as well take some of these. Right. It's winter coming up. So, yeah, we can definitely use these in here for a month. Right. Got to remember, winter. No crops. Thinking about that, apparently. Uh, something like that. Yeah, I was not thinking there. Uh, right, we have the festival tonight. Is there anything else we need to do? I'm forgetting. Oh, sorry, Jess. It took me two years to actually play it. Oh, wow, okay, really. Yeah, it must have been such a weird one for, uh... Yeah, people who played, like, all the old Zelda games up to then, like, it's such a big change. I think especially, like, I mean, I feel like most Zelda fans would love it in general, but would have been really disappointed about the lack of uh, traditional Zelda dungeons. I imagine that was uh, pretty unfortunate. Okay, we'll grab another one, but we'll do something like this. And I guess I'll fertilize. Because, yeah, the, uh, the, what were they, like, they don't want temples. What are they called in Breath of the Wild? Well, the things to get the things. The main stuff. Yeah, they, they weren't really comparable to like a Zelda dungeon. Same with like in uh, the temples in Tears of the Kingdom. I felt like I, with the exception of maybe one, I felt like they were pretty easy. And I, I didn't really have trouble with any of the bosses. I didn't have any trouble with Ganon either though. I did have some pretty good stuff when fighting him, though. <laughs> Arr, what am I doing? What am I doing? Fertilizer. Sorry, I am a little scatterbrained because I am running on like four and a half hours sleep. Which uh, was not ideal. Alright, let's get those fertilized, fertilized? Fertilized and watered. And... Oh yeah, we'll grab another one of these. I don't know what else we're going to plant in here, but... Um... I mean, we only have access to so many seeds. So, do you think it's worth buying some cranberry seeds or something to put in here for winter? Oh, it's 5 p.m. Oh, we got tomorrow, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, so we could buy some seeds tomorrow if we want. Because we, I feel like we, we may as well have something for winter growing in here. I thought I had... Oh, that must have been less. Okay. I thought I had more broccoli seeds, but I guess that was all. Oh, I hadn't even thought, you can, oh, that's super convenient. I noticed that, but didn't click with me previously that you could refill there. <laughs> it is very convenient. I remember only focusing on the main story and finished the game in two days. All for Breath of the Wild, wow, really, okay. Yeah, I guess if you focus on the main story, you're gonna do that pretty quick, huh? Whereas, like, I played for, like, uh, 160 hours, I think, before I 
finished. And I by no means went close to like 100%ing or anything. Um, I mean, I guess we may as well, yeah, move more of these in if we put these blank ones. We'll worry about stuff with it tomorrow, but I mean, yeah, we may as well fill up the greenhouse. Uh, it'll be good. Oh, wait, they're gonna... Wait, will they disappear? They will, won't they? Breath of Wild, 100% play here. Oh, really? <laughs> Wasn't worth it in retrospective. <laughs> yeah, 100% is a bit much for me with games like that. I do like to do a lot. Um, but yeah, things like finding all the Korok seeds and stuff, that's that's a bit much for me. But uh, I, did do, I did do a lot of shrines and got a lot of... Yeah, I think I upgraded most armor and di I did a lot. But I just kind of hit like a kind of natural conclusion and yeah, because I was binging it when I first played Breath of the Wild. That was, that was good times. Did you, uh, how did you go with uh, Tears of the Kingdom? Did you do the same or? I think my keyboard just died. One moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn keyboard. Okay, we good. <laughs> I swear, like this keyboard's battery used to last way longer. Like I feel like it went for so long without needing a charge before. Um, what are we doing? It's nine p.m. We're doing well, well on quests, minus that. It's Saturday. Uh, no birthdays the next month. Let's check the fruit cave. Explored this time. None there. Did you, uh, like, play more Breath of the Wild, or was that, like... Was that all you played of it? Like, finished the main story and you were done? Or did you go back and do other stuff, or...? I guess we're good. Oh shit, I'm thinking like, oh, we're good as in go to sleep, but we have the festival at a moment. I absolutely knew that. Just testing you. Probably. Uh, I may as well throw a few of these in the greenhouse for now, huh? Oh, we need some rice actually, so that's convenient. Mix seeds? What are you... Sure, maybe. I'm just gonna plant some random crap. Why not? I did try another save with Exploring, but I didn't finish it. Oh, okay. Okay, super quick planning, and then we'll... We'll head off. And some rice. What time does the festival go to? Just want to water real quick. And then we'll go, go, go. Ah. I assume we're good tonight, to whatever time, to get there. Okay, go, go, go. Wait, ah. Now go, go, go. You'll have to wait. 
no good with open world games. I enjoy recording as a story. Ah, yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah, I guess for me, like, open world games kind of fall into a similar thing as something like Stardew. Like, very, very different, but, like, kind of hits that same thing for me, minus the kind of routine. But, uh, you know, bounce around and just do stuff. <laughs> It does depend on the open world game though, there are, they're certainly not all made equal. But Aunt Marnie, I want to go in the maze, I'm not scared. Hey Mana, have you had productive fall? I have. It's starting to get quite cold, crops won't hold up for much longer, that's true. Eek, I'm too scared. Ah, uh, don't worry, Sway will go with you. Ooh, we have money. We can buy things. That's nice. Rare crow? Yes, please. Jack-o'-lantern recipe. Hmm. Gravestone? Sure. Oh, that's expensive. I do want it. I shouldn't, but I bought it. I'm going to take two of them. If I had less money, I would regret, but I do want to kind of get everything, so it's fine. We've got money rolling in. I do like the rare crows. You're getting rich, though. We're getting there. But the, it will be knocked back quite hard when we upgrade to the deluxe Cuban barn, so after that we can work on the getting rich part. <laughs> well, actually, after that we need to buy pigs and rabbits then we can work on the getting rich we, we are getting there though we're doing all right don't get too close to the cage yeah i still question this i have no idea how the skeletons are walking creepy yeah just monsters brought up from the mines that's that's safe it's pretty cool though i mean it, it is interesting why is there no more pumpkin ale it's a good question one of my iridium-infused maces, we went quick work of these things. Uh, wh where are these iridium-infused maces? I have not seen those for sale. Well, winter's almost here. It's a great time to stockpile wooden stone. That's true. I haven't seen Mara in hours. I hope she's alright. It's a lot of fun to cook with pumpkin. Such an interesting fruit. Well, hello, Mana. It's chilly, isn't it? Also, I would disagree with that. It is absolutely a vegetable. I'll come to any event with free grub. You won't see me in the Horn of Maze, though. Vince is upset that I won't let him go into the Horn of Maze. But he's just a little boy. I get scared very easily. I'll leave the Horn of Maze to the younger people. I, how? You don't exactly look old, but fair enough. Hmm, hi, sorry. Mouthful of blackberries. I respect that. Hello, Blue. Do you like the jack lens? I carved them myself. They are pretty good. Not bad, not bad. Good evening, Mana. Have you ventured into the Haunted Maze yet? It's quite spooky. That strange man who lives in the tower set it all up himself. He wouldn't let anyone near while he was working on it. Mother won't let me go in the maze. Ah, It's too bad, man. Mm, yeah, we good. I kind of want to, you know what, let's get a second gravestone. Why not? Oh, you found me. Truth is, I got too scared, so I came here to hide. Don't tell anyone. I mean, you could just go back to the, like, out of the maze. I think I've already been this way. No, wait. I'm lost. Ah, it's fine. Probably. You'll figure it out. The vapor from this cauldron is making my head spin, but I can't seem to leave. Well, that's concerning. TV, how are you? Not sure how you're functioning here. There's something weird over there, but how do I get to it? There's gotta be a secret passage somewhere around here. 
Also, I looked it up earlier about the transfer save to Citra. It's actually possible. Oh, nice. Awesome. I can't go on spiders. Yeah, I mean, as long as you can get the file on your computer, you're, uh, you'll be good to go. Well, I mean, I don't know if it, uh, what format it comes in, but in general, if you can get the file in some form or another to the computer, you, uh, you'd definitely be able to. So that'll be good. That's odd. It's just a dead end up ahead. Just dead end up ahead. I could have sworn there was someone ahead of me I went when I went through the maze, though. Where'd they go? Yeah, I'm, I'm only familiar with my setup, but I remember, like... I think with my 3DS, my modded one, like... I feel like you had to hold a button when you turned it on, and you go into, like, a certain menu. And you could back up the save file. And then after that, you would have to take the SD card out of the back, plug that into your computer, and you could get transfer the save file off the SD card in the correct format or something like that. It, is, uh, it has been a while. Uh, I don't actually remember this. I remember there was this. Oh. Oh, good. Linus up there. Oh. Golden pumpkin. Where does this take me? Take the secret trail back. Oh, okay. Because, like, it's weird here, like, there's talk options on them, but there doesn't seem to be any way to get up there. Hmm. Yeah, this brings me here. Well, I think that's the festival. We did get a nice rare crow. Are you uh, going to try that then, Jess? And uh, continue Majora's Mask? Uh, I think we're good here, aren't we? I don't know, this festival like feels like it needs like something. I don't know, I mean, I do like the maze, it's cool. Just the, uh, I don't know. It feels weird, like, I guess when you have the other festivals where there's like some event thing, it, it always feels kind of weird just walking off from the, uh, the ones like these. I think we're all good though. We've got our pumpkin, we've got our stuff. Talk to everyone. Blub? Hello, this way. Good morning. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you. I'm not sure if Blub is referencing something specific, but... Let me know if so. I do not currently have any blub, if blub is blueberry. Uh, where are you gonna go, Rekro? Hmm. I guess you're not gonna be needed for a while, huh? It's down the line. It's gonna be a long winter. All right, exhausted. That's a that's a thing. That is definitely a thing. We should sleep. I want to pass out again in my own yard and get charged by damn Georgia Corporation. Yep, gonna play with the controller in better resolution. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, that'll be really good. Alright, we got back most of the money we just spent. So, all good. 
Uh, jack o' lanterns. You can live here. You protect the the bin. It'll be great. Uh, you put these in here. You can. Hmm. I don't really know what I actually want to do with these. They can go in here for now. Uh, holy crap, that's a, that is a rug. Damn. That, that is a rug. Okay, you can go there for now. Uh, this can painfully go there. Kitty can have it for the fire. Uh, pumpkin can also go in here. Yeah, last day of fall, so we better sort anything out that we need to. That's the, yeah, our last harvest. Uh, I guess we'll continue setting up the greenhouse for anything we want. I don't know, do you think we should like get some cranberry seeds for the greenhouse? That's kind of what I was leaning, but I don't know if that's actually best. I mean, it will last as long as we want them to, which is nice. Nice that this uh, worked out for us to get a harvest last day. Yeah, I think we cleared pretty well, like, uh, corn, purple emojis, like, yeah, everything that's not a continuous crop, we, uh, we cleared out. Got our final lot of wheat and hay. Not bad. Started unbound again. Oh, nice, nice. That'll be good. Though I'm, I'm hoping you skipped the shiny starter for sanity's sakes, but um, if you didn't, good luck. Or hope you already got it. Either way, it should be fun. Oh, got our first honey. Skip the what now? Wait, what did I say? Shiny starter? What did I say? I'm running on four and a half hours of sleep, be warned. If I say something, I'm not gonna remember what it was like two like 30 seconds later. I honestly don't know if I said that or something else. Could have been anything. Yes, the shiny starter. <laughs> but yeah, I'm uh, pretty much mush brain today, so I honestly wouldn't have known. <laughs> Could have said anything, honestly. I wake up because I don't know, I went to bed at like. Ended up going to bed like 7. 30, 740 I think it was. And then I uh, woke up at 12. So that wasn't great. Yeah, you'll have uh, plenty of hours in Unbound soon, I'm sure then. If you uh, stick with it. Alright, it's a big one. Oh, Daffy and Tozzy. Which uh, started you end up going with? Uh, kind of want to play on bow myself. No milk. I don't know which ones I milked. Oh, maybe we did the cows. Oh no, I didn't get you. Okay, it's not milk day for them. All right, all right. We good, we good. 
Uh, sell. Put away. Rebel eggs. Pet the kitty. And yeah, maybe get some seeds. Did to get processing on those? Excuse me, chicken. Colonel. Excuse me. Thank you. Kitty hanging out the bowl. Very good. Got milk. Oh, I'm starting to get the uh, purple milk. got you go there honey do you have a spot hmm you live here I guess you live with the maple syrup that works uh, better grab a couple things for that keg and then we'll head to the shop Well, I guess mining, I mean, uh, I guess winter will be a good excuse for uh, mining then. So that'll be good. You know, I'm going to make a note about Unbound, because I, I would love to start that again. Or something similar. It's been, like... It's been ages. I don't think I've actually started... A Pokemon ROM hack since we played Pokemon Glazed on stream. And that was like, that was like over a year ago. Which seems crazy. Uh, what do we want? Because I feel like, uh, yeah, I'm making some cranberries for the greenhouse just for, just for now. It'll give us something to go through the winter and, I don't know, when something better comes up, we can replace them. Uh, how many do I want? Uh, it's probably enough. How much space do we have? Ah, that'll be fine. We have corn we could use, maybe. Ooh, it's Sunday, TV day. Four hours of sleep, what happened? Oh, I just, yeah, I just woke up at 12 and... Yep. <laughs> I was up. Not ideal. Um, I feel fine enough. I'm just kind of mush brain at this point because I've, you know, been up for, uh... I guess 13 hours with, you know, a little sleep, so... The brain power I had has already trailed off. It's fine. Sunday, by the way. Yeah, I literally just forgot. That is, uh, ADD brain. That's a whole separate issue. Thank you for the reminder. Even though I thought of it like 30 seconds ago. Uh, Artichoke dip. This is a delightful way to get more artichokes into your body. Personally, I don't even dip anything in there. I just guzzle the sauce down like it's a milkshake. Delicious. That's questionable. Learn how to cook artichoke dip. That is, that is something. Artichoke and milk. I guess that's simple enough. Can't say I've ever had artichoke dip. I don't know if that's good or not. I guess it is an easier way to get artichoke into you if you don't like it. Assume it's healthy. I don't know if I've ever eaten artichoke now that I'm saying this. Uh. Anyway. Get some more crops set up. I better grab some more sprinklers, huh? And is there anything else we should be doing in this final day before winter that I'm not thinking of? 
I think we're good. Some cranberries. Okay, that kind of worked. Let's sort of fill these out and see how we go. Might need some cheese. That was, that was not the right one. Perfect. Let's go grab some more sprinklers. We've got our final harvest. They did well. Uh, I better fix those. It's good, creamy, full of garlic flavor and healthy fats. Oh, really? Garlic flavor? Huh. Wait, the dip or artichokes in general? If artichokes in general, I am very curious now. But also, hello JJ, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Hope your uh, meeting yesterday went well. Oh right, the uh, fertilizer, that's what I forgot. Yup. Mm-mm. Uh, da, da, da. Totally knew where that was. Sorry to hear your mum is dragging you to church later. I assume. Oh, no, no. We're just, uh, just like family, uh, lunch. Which, uh, is, you know, like right at 12, so. Yeah. If I streamed a six, that would have been pretty rough. But yeah, just uh, eating fish mainly. But at a time where I'm not normally awake. So it's not ideal, but you know, not a big deal either. Uh, where am I at? Oh, I should have done them first. Whoops. That's fine. Fertilizer. Oof, already six. The garlic is added to the dip. Oh, okay. That yeah, sounds pretty good then. I don't know if artichokes are really commonly stocked here. Like, I can't recall really seeing them in the supermarket. Actually, I think they come canned, maybe. I don't think I've ever seen them fresh. Hmm. Your mom is dragging you to church tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, nothing like that for me. Just, uh, just eating fish. Which will probably mean eating some shark, so... That'll be good. Some, uh, gummy shark. I don't know what we're gonna do for winter. I guess it's a good opportunity to fish, obviously, but, uh... The mine's probably gonna be the way to go. Not that we'll want to do that every day, but... Be a good opportunity to, uh... Stock up on copper, iron, and gold. Make sure we have a good, uh, sprinkler set up for... Next season, get some more kegs. Uh, we've got a pretty decent supply of hay. I think we'll still have to buy some, but... We've actually got a decent supply going in, so that's good. Can I put these on here? Oh yeah, I thought I could. Wasn't sure. And I need one more. Oh, 
Unless they fit. Oh, four more. Close. Ah, one left over. <laughs> Some water. Man, they're so convenient. Jars of artichokes here too. Some from Italy, but probably some grown in Cali too. I enjoy them. Okay. Yeah, they're probably in jars here as well. I, don't, I think I feel like I've seen them in like tins, like uh, canned things. But yeah, they probably do come in like jars. No SC. Uh, SC, SC. Nope, my mind is drawing a blank on what SC is. Gold cavern. Oh, um, yeah, pro well, actually, no, well, hopefully. Uh, we don't have the bus yet. 15, right, it's like 42, far. okay. Um, we could technically afford that, but I really want to get the deluxe coupon barn upgrade, which will knock our money back quite a bit. Um, hmm. But I, I imagine we can do both by the end of winter, certainly, anyway, so. We still have a good amount of stuff to process. Um, I don't want to get some more kegs. But I think, like, yeah, just in pumpkins here, like, I mean, sir, like, even if I sold those as they are, that's 40k. But making them into wine, I mean, that's 38k right there. So, yeah, we'll definitely be able to get the bus repair. Um, ooh, trees don't grow in winter, do they? Because we've got a few of ours having grown here. But I guess they're all going to stop, aren't they? You see the grass is all filling back in nicely. Yeah, none of our mushroom trees have uh, grown. Yeah, Sunkiss City, of course. That'll be an interesting one. Um, yeah, a silk cavern would be good. I guess it'd be good, like, yeah, if we, I mean, if we get a good supply of copper, silver, and iron, there's a lot of things that we can kind of do first. So we can get some more kegs, some more bee houses, uh, maybe get another mayo machine, so we have three of each. Um, probably get one more worm bin, just so we have a good supply of bait. Uh, we can make a bunch of bombs for the skull cavern to try and kind of plow through that faster to get more iridium. Uh, I still don't have any lightning rods, so getting some iron for that as well would be good. Yeah, honestly, there's a ton of things we kind of just need copper, iron, and gold for at the moment. It'll be good to uh, get ahead on that kind of stuff. We've got a little stack of gold, like 10 bars if we put that together. Four copper ingots and zero iron, so yeah, we still we still kind of need them all. Oh, I was gonna plant that coffee bean. Ah, okay. Well, I planted some random crap, so uh, let's now keep that in inventory. We'll plant that last cranberry and coffee bean when something else grows. Yeah, all right. Well, uh, I think we are heading into winter. That'll be nice. Oh, sorry. I just realized, I, I don't know why, I, uh, Sebi birthday is soon. I, re I just remember that I read that in my head. I never read it out loud. So sorry about that, Jess. That's my brain for you. I do that sometimes, like, it's, uh, 
ideally a rarity, but sometimes I read something in my head then I remember like 10 minutes later that I did it. Uh, might be an age difference or a gender difference, but my mum can't drag me anywhere I don't want to go. Since you're on STB tonight, after all, request for you to visit the beach for me when you can. Uh, I can do that. As long as it's all good in winter, because it's 1am. But we don't have a lot to do in winter, so yeah. Hello? Sounds? That doesn't sound good. There was a strong windstorm during the night. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean, I don't, uh, yeah, I don't really deal with getting dragged places, I guess. I don't know, I guess my, my parents don't really go many places. So uh, yeah, it's not really something I run into. Oi. Hello. Oh, I only just remembered. We never bought any blue grass. I should have done that so it started spreading in blazes. Doesn't matter now, it's winter, but... It's weird seeing so much grass in winter. Even though I've only experienced one before. Um, but yeah, I don't really get drag places, but there are things like... Um, my mum prefers, you know, me not eating meat on Good Friday, for example. Which is, uh, you know, barely a sacrifice when I like fish anyway, so it's like, you know, it's uh, no big deal. Um, but like, my dad kind of does the same, like, he doesn't care about that stuff at all. But he, uh... Yeah, he just kind of goes by mum on that stuff. Do you have the wooden board fixed at the beach? Ah, uh, I don't. I that is. I, I'm gonna add that to my list. Does what you uh, said require that? Because I think we just need wood for that. So I can I can get the chopping. Uh, I guess we may as well pick up this stuff for now. We can put these away and sort them, uh... I mean, just sorry. Oh, no worries, no worries. Do you prefer fish than any other meat? Ah, uh, no, no, I, I prefer meat, generally, I would say. Uh, minced beef is kind of my go-to. Um, I mean, yeah, it's probably on par. Like, I'm, I kind of go either way. Like, it's one of them things where, like, if I ate fish three days in a row, I'd probably want some something else the next day. If I ate, you know three days of minced beef in a row, then some fish would be nice kind of thing, like, um, but, uh, I do, like, have, like, kind of minced beef as my go-to, because I can make it into, like, you know, it can be put into, like, sauces, it can be made into meatballs, it can be made into burgers, it can be, you know, many, many things. Uh, I guess we'll just put these, um, I can probably go in here. Yeah, it's probably fine. It requ it's required for what I want to show you, yeah? 300 wood? Yeah, we do need some wood. Kitty. Oh, right. Okay, we need to make sure things are filled, huh? Alright, good, good. I think every... I think it's a milk day for everyone today. 
Why don't you squeaky? You still misclick them sometimes. Oh. Okay. Fair enough. I see how it is. Yeah, I thought they were all lined up. Are you got milk? Oh, I guess it must be off. Okay, we'll try and get them lined up. Oh, it's easier in uh, winter. Uh, probably not going to be milk and Donald. That's that's probably not a good idea. I don't think he'll appreciate that either. Thank you. Eggs for me, pets for you. All set. Oh, we're in pretty good. We've got uh, four with uh, four hearts with all the cows and chickens. That's good. Uh, is there a meal you never get tired of eating? Question for anyone. Um. Mm, not really. Um, I don't know. I think for me, like, I have a bad habit. I think, uh, I don't know if it's an ADD thing or not. Um, but like, cause I have a bad habit of like sucking dry anything I enjoy basically as I refer to it until I no longer enjoy it is a bad habit. And so that kind of happens with food too. If I like something too much, I'll eat it until it's no longer special. I'm trying to like move away from that habit so it's not an issue as much anymore because I actively am aware of it. But I have uh, definitely ruined quite a few food things I like by eating them just so consistently to the point where even if I stop and then a few months later it's still just, you know, it, it's gone from like the nicest thing ever to just like, you know, barely even caring. I don't know if that's to do with like the dopamine stuff. I, I think it might be, but I'm not sure. It's uh, not a good habit though. <laughs> There's probably a few exceptions, but yeah, I tend to ruin them when there, there is. Uh, and apparently I didn't uh, refill those. Chicken for you, Jess. Nice and simple. Chicken is always good. There's so many things you can do with it. Yeah, because I guess it depends. Like, because if it, I guess chicken could be an answer, but that would mean I'd want it like a different way all the time, so it's kind of mixed. Because I could definitely consistently have chicken, but I would like, you know, do it many, many different ways. You know, because that could go into pasta. I could make wraps, and even with wraps, you could do it grilled. You could do it battered. You can, you know. So lots, lots of options with something like that. That's also why I like, yeah, minced beef, because so many options. Oh my god, my pumpkins! <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, apparently jack-o'-lanterns should be kept in chests. Huh. I was not aware of this. That's unfortunate. Kitty, why are you out in the cold? Uh, tacos, enchiladas, nachos, pizza, chicken nuggets, gluten-free, of course. Uh, well, definitely not gluten-free for me, but all of those things sound very good. If we go for a mix of those, I could definitely live off that. If I rotate. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, let's chop some trees. We, we do need wood, like, for the bridge thing, for, like, just in general. It's nothing too exciting, obviously, but... Gotta get the resources. Oops, I didn't scroll down. Quesadilla for you, uh, Sway. Oh, pizza is a good choice as well. Yeah, I guess pizza is a good one for that too, though, because you can uh, swap out the toppings. So I guess it depends how strict we go with the whole, uh, is there a meal you never get tired of eating? Because if I can mix it up, like, I can do a lot of different things with pizza. 
A lot of different flavours are uh, potentially there. Good morning, Rescue Squad. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Did you uh, get a chance to play Vellum? That too, enchiladas with mole. I do that too, Mana, fellow neurodivergent. <laughs> That's me with the music. I listen to songs too much and you stop listening for right. Yeah, I used to, yeah. I also do that unfortunately. Then that that is a habit I have not broken. I think that's like partly a normal thing with some things, but I think I hit kind of extremes with that generally, which is a problem. Yeah, it can be like, that's the thing with like, uh, yeah, dopamine issues. I, th I assume it's kind of connected to that because it makes sense. It's a mixed thing because if you find a game like, if I find a game that can hook me in for many, many hours, it's like, oh, it's so good. Because my brain will just sink into it and consume it for, like, as long as possible. But, uh, if you do that with, like, songs or food, it's pretty easy to ruin it quite fast. And, yeah. But, yeah, I think it's kind of normal with songs and stuff, to a degree. But when you do that with almost everything in life, it's, uh... It is good to be aware of it and try and avoid it. <laughs> I remember like odd specific things like these chicken pies I really liked. And oh, I ate so many of them. To the point where like I never even eat them. I didn't eat them for months and I stopped caring about them at all and there was like no satisfaction from eating them. Whereas if I just had them occasionally, I could still enjoy them. <laughs> there were, uh, what were they? I think they're like chicken and leek. Oh, really nice. And they still are nice, but there's just like, that satisfaction is just gone. Even though I haven't eaten them from, I haven't eaten them in probably like a couple years at least now, and I have no desire to eat them. Like, they, they probably still taste nice, but any desire or satisfaction is just completely gone. That is one of the reasons these days I try and mix up my food a lot. Otherwise, I'll find something I really like and I'll keep going over and over and yeah. It's such a dumb problem to have. I, okay, I didn't know the jack o lanterns died. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, yeah, it's the first time I've had them. That was uh, unfortunate. I just literally just put them down yesterday. Or the night before. Because <laughs> yeah. I was considering just putting them like inside or in my inventory. I mean, uh, in a chest, but... Yeah. I'm curious though now, like, if I put them in the house, I wonder if that would happen. Like, is that purely like a winter thing, I wonder? Let's, uh, let us test that. It costs a couple K, but it's worth checking. Because I'm curious now. Where is that? This is, I did buy the recipe. I think it was just a thing in a torch. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Pumpkin torch. Did I not make a torch? What the hell did I just do? Uh, all good. Okay. You live here. Please don't die. And while there's no reason it should do anything, I'm going to put you in the chest. The winter STV music. The auto music is too sad, though. <laughs> We'll wait for full release in Vellum while in early access. Oh, okay, is it early access? I didn't see that. Oh, is it? Wait, no, it is up now. Okay, I see. Yeah, I didn't realize it was early access. Okay. Still, I, uh, I am curious. 
No user reviews yet. I wonder if they have key mailer. Oh crap. I did not pause. Can I search? Okay, I need to open Opera for one second. Hopefully everything doesn't explode. While like 400 tabs open. Well, like 80, but just as bad. Hello, Abermas. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Oh, uh, Vellum is on Keymailer, but they are not taking requests at the moment. Damn. Could have been worth a long shot. Oh, I, re <laughs> I received a key today, apparently. This is <laughs> it's going to be an interesting one. Well, there'll be a video or something coming up soon for a very interesting game I received a key for. Okay, I wasn't expecting to get that. <laughs> oh, that's going to be interesting. Okay, close Opera, please. You have way too many tabs. Close? Please? No? What 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 just happened? Sorry, I'll be like half a second. Opera's just being weird. Okay, all good. Alright, sorry about that. Okay, not the most productive first day, I will admit, of winter. Oh, it's Monday. I should check the bulletin board. Uh, we did get some wood. Wood's good. Uh, right. Sell, sell, sell. Geode. All right, let's go for a quick run to the bulletin board. And hope I'm not forgetting anything else. Interesting key, eh? Or game? Vel oh, not Vellum. Vellum did have key requests at one point, but it's uh, not open at the moment. But uh, I received the key for an interesting game. <laughs> I was going to keep the title to myself because it'll be interesting, but uh, I guess it doesn't matter that much. If the vellum requests open up again, I'll definitely request one. But I received a- oh nice! We got a ticket. Yeah, I received a key for a game called, uh... Russian Village Simulator. Which is sure to be interesting. Hello there. For an upcoming promotion, I'm thinking of offering some high quality vegetables at a slight premium. Know where a thrifty shopkeep might find 25 gold star vegetables. Hmm, really? Offering some high quality vegetables at a slight premium, huh? I thought you grew your own, Pierre. Hmm. Hey there, I'm looking for a big water bug guts. The juicier the better. At least that's what the crabs seem to like. I'd appreciate to do the trick. Well, I do want to complete these and I can probably pull that off with some crappy crops. Still though. But also, we got a ticket. Let me in. I need prize. Oh right, orange tree sapling, nice. That'll be good. Oh right, I got the Christmas tree, nice, nice. Um, right, we'll fix the bridge, we'll plant that. That'll be good. Uh, I should open up the greenhouse wiki page. I don't remember where to plant trees. Okay, all good. Um, what are, okay, right, I need to check the calendar, because new month, new birthdays. Alright, I should update my notes. The fishing quest we completed. 
Uh, that's about all. <laughs> oh, sorry, Abermast. By the way, what other games do you play, Mana? Um, Stream-wise at the moment, we are playing a lot of Stardew. <laughs> We're starting uh, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess uh, tomorrow night. Um, we're also playing Shin Megami Tensei at the moment. I'm getting back to Pal World sometime soon. Uh, we recently finished Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Um, recently finished Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Though there's kind of a little bit I want to do on both of those to kind of wrap up completely, but they are finished. Um... Uh, off stream, I have been playing Persona 3 Reload, although I haven't been able to get back to it for a little while. Um, yeah, I haven't really been playing a lot uh, off stream lately. I haven't really had time. Um, so yeah, it has been a lot of Stardew lately, which I am enjoying, but I, I do want to get back to mixing it up a little bit more. Though I also still want to play a lot of Stardew. What, about, what have you been playing lately, Abermast? Anything uh, interesting? Uh, let us get... oof. Okay, let's get that tree planted. Gonna shiny hunt, you are confirmed. Good luck, Mana. Well, I do wish you luck. Shiny hunting can be, uh, quite the battle. Uh, where can we plant? Um, okay, every place where I put one of them. Hmm. Oh, wait, do, they don't have to be watered, do they? Right? Yeah, so it's fine there, right? Right? Yeah. Okay, we're good. Alright, uh, check the cave real quick. Hasn't been any in there in a little bit. What, uh, what shiny are you going for? Uh, let me just open... Ah, uh, but yes, this is the game I received a key to, which looks, um... Unique. That's, yeah, there's fishing and... Farm vehicles and... Countryside and... Horses and... Vehicles and people and animals and... Yep. <laughs> this is a simulator of life in the Russian countryside where the player will be engaged in the garden, picking mushrooms and berries, collect firewood, hunting and fishing, brew moonshine and much, much more. It, it looked like an interesting one for a video. <laughs> Though I didn't actually expect to get a key. It was more like one of the ones where oh, I'll, I'll take a shot at requesting and... If it happens and happens, I'll I'll make it worth the uh the money or whatever you call it. Worth the uh whatever of being given a key. I cannot word tonight. Uh but yeah, bedtime. <laughs> Shiny Beldum. Oh, okay, nice, nice. Was this made by Russians, or is it just mocking them? I honestly have no idea. It just looked like one of those, like, uh, simulator games that tends to get a bit wacky. Oh my god! My pumpkin died even inside.
Yeah, it looks like one of those simulator games that's like, you know, there, there is something to it, but at the same time it gets a bit weird and, you know, because it's got everything from like fishing and it looks like maybe fighting. I don't know what that's happening in that screen drop, but I saw like driving tractors and yeah, I feel like it's one of those ones that'll get pretty, pretty interesting if I try and play it the mana way. Um, I'm guessing it's, yeah, I don't know. It looks like the developers made some interesting things. They've made like, I don't know what looks like horror games, but also... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure. Oops, I did not pause. I was clicked off. All good. But yeah, I can't believe the pumpkin died even inside. What controller do you usually use, Mana? Um, I'm usually using the 8-Bit Do Pro 2. I think that's... Uh, I think that's correct. Pro 2, 8-Bit Do... Uh, da, 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 yes, I will link. The, uh, the gray one, the person is holding in that, uh, on that page, just below the switch. That is the, that is the one I use. Oh, right, yeah, my pumpkin. Oh, rotten plant, great, thanks. I can't believe the pumpkin died even in my house. You are definitely staying in the chest. Just wanted to let you know about a new item I'm carrying. It's called a wood chipper. You can use it to break hardwood into several pieces of regular wood. I know it can be hard to come by in winter, so if your supply is low, consider picking one up. Robin. Hey, I've got a little challenge for you. Catch me a squid. You can fish them from the ocean at night. They only show up in the winter, though. Okay. I'll consider this. Oh, god damn it! I forgot that that requires harvesting gold things, not just giving them to him. Damn you, Pierre. I mean, maybe I can do that, but jeez, we'll see. We'll see what happens in the greenhouse, I guess. But on a positive, pumpkin wine. Also, sorry, everyone, if I'm more annoying today. My sleep is also off. No, you're fine, Jojo. No worries. Damn rotten plant. Oh, it looks cute. That's not the first thing I would usually hear about a controller, but I'll I'll take that as a positive. It is a good controller. I don't know if I'd necessarily recommend it, just because I haven't used a ton of other like modern controllers. Um but I do really like it, um, and you can have like um, three profiles, which is nice, and you have like a software to like program it. So I usually um, have profiles for things like I'll swap the A and B. So like if I'm playing like a PlayStation game when it's emulated, I swap the A and B so I can keep it like Switch style because I'm used to that. Um, yeah, so I usually set up little profiles like that or sometimes I'll swap the D-pad with the analog stick and stuff like that for certain games or... Um, but yeah, it's nice having like the profiles and software and stuff. Yeah, uh, it is really nice. Yeah, like 8-bit do do good stuff. But yeah, I, I just, uh, I don't know if I'd recommend it just because I haven't used enough others, I feel like. But uh, it has been very good for me. You can adjust some of, like, the sensitivity with the triggers and things, I think, too, if I'm remembering correctly. So, like, if you have dead zones and stuff, you can fix it with the software, I think. It's been a while since I've played with that part of it.
But uh, my favorite controller though, which they don't sell anymore, I don't think that, I think they got in trouble, I'm not really sure, or they just covered themselves because, uh, let me, let me find it. Oh, that is a, nope, that, that page no longer exists, huh. I have two of these because when they were going, when they were getting rid of them, I bought an extra one. This was when I had more, uh money to throw around. It's so good though. Okay, I can only find an image, but yeah, I love this controller. I have one that I use, and then I have one that's uh, still in the box new. It's so good. I love it. But yeah, I think they still sell a controller that's that style. But I think they were kind of worried about Nintendo because of how similar it is to a SNES controller. Uh, right, we need 10 animals. Oh, I forgot. Another never gets old food, cereal. Uh, I never eat cereal. I remember when that came up before, I mentioned one in Crispix, but I never got them. Mixing honey crispics and chocolate pris crispics. That is, uh, that is good stuff. Been so long though. I own that controller too, nice and light. Oh, awesome, awesome. Yes, yeah, the uh, SF30, I think, was the model name. But yeah, they, um... There was also one that was a bit more like the um, American SNES controller scheme style. Like the button colors were like that uh, purpley color. But yeah, I'm, I'm guessing they probably, I don't know if Nintendo did contact them or, but I assume they may have worried about that. It is very SNES. Hello everyone. See the heater is doing its job. All nice and toasty. Ah, it is so convenient being able to scroll down that. That is really nice. Right, I actually have to remember to fill this every day, don't I? Need to get the deluxe upgrade. Yeah, because I think that for those controllers, there was like the SF30 and... Mm, oh yeah, it might have been the SF30 and the SN30 for like Super Famicom and Super, Super Nintendo. I think that's what it was. Half a second pause. Oh yeah, they had a, uh... yeah, they had this one as well. The SN30 Pro is like the, uh, yeah, the Super, the Super Nintendo American version kind of one. I think that they still sell something that's like just like that. Um, but yeah, they got rid of the very... Oh yeah, they have an SN30, yeah. This is the one they have now. It's the same kind of style, um, but more like that grey one that I use now. Alright, back to Stardew. <laughs> Sorry, uh, controller distractions. But uh, yeah, you're right when you say like nice and light. They're, they're a really nice controller to use. I actually find them um, really comfortable. I think though the the one I have, like the one you said you have too, I don't think it's compatible with their newer software, I, I think was one problem. But I think that came later or something. Because yeah, they were quite a bit older than ones. I'm assuming the new version there that I just linked is obviously all compatible and everything. 
What are, what controllers on PC do you guys normally use when you're using them? Because I, I use mine for a lot of things. I mean, obviously, Stardew, um, keyboard and mouse. I find that a lot more comfortable. <laughs> er, what do we need to do today? We'll see about these crops, I guess. Catch a squid, maybe. I don't know about that either. We'll see what trees actually grew. We might chop a few. Alright, our greenhouse is all good. Bit of a mix of things. Maybe we get 25 gold. Yeah, I completely forgot that was a harvest and yeah. I should have known that. Most of them are like that. I guess we can get a decent bit of extra hay chopping through the middle here if we want to. It won't grow back in the next season, but... It's not like it'll cause any problems. Like if we want to save money. Oh? Why do you have a question mark? The old tree is gone. However, with 100 pieces of hardwood, this could be fixed up. Um, okay. Interesting. I guess I should be going to the secret woods more. I use the wide Xbox One controller. Oh, yeah, nice. I do like, um, I really like the Xbox controller, but I, I do much prefer the Nintendo scheme. Mainly like the A and B button. But, uh, yeah, I do like my, uh, Xbox Elite controller. It's pretty nice. I, uh, I've just gotten so used to the 8-bit do. So it's kind of my go-to now. It's usually always plugged in, sitting off to the side, uh, behind one of my speakers. Because I also like, um, because it's got like a battery pack, but it, I think you can, if I'm remembering correctly, it's got a battery pack, but you can put uh, normal batteries in it as well, I think. I don't know if that was the old one. Um, but it is nice though, like the battery pack is accessible like normal batteries, so if anything ever goes wrong, you can buy just a new battery pack and just pop it in, like, you don't have to open up the controller or anything weird. It also works, uh, wireless or wired, which is nice. Uh, it also works with Nintendo Switch and stuff like that, so. Yeah, a lot of good things about the 8-Bit Do Pro, actually. New content? Oh, is it? Okay. I didn't know if that was just something I hadn't ran into before. Hmm, okay. We should probably, um... We should upgrade our axe. That that would just make things simpler, huh? Like, that, that would probably be easier. And we could get more hardwood sooner. That might not be a bad idea. Uh, minus not having iron, obviously, that's, that is a factor. Uh, we could go grab some iron real quick and get our axe upgraded. That, that might not be a bad way to go. Because we can only get 12 a day here. At the moment. Oh, right, we need the two, uh, forageables to complete the community center thing. Yeah, what about that? Now that it's winter. Alright, we need the snow yam and the crocus. Yes, no more cheating. <laughs> it's not cheating, it's just sitting down. Yeah. Don't really need to fight the slime. Oh yeah, I still have that rare seed fruit thing. I don't know where to take it though. Is there another area I'm unaware of? Because I would like that star drop. Uh, how much hardwood do we have? I don't think much. Because I use like 10 or 15 for something. Oops.
you're being recommended on like every whole live channel i have a script too it's around you you have a talent oh nice that's uh oh that's cool yeah and uh hello again cam good to see you hope you're doing well Uh, I guess there are probably not that many foragibles around yet, huh? But uh, yeah, that is, uh, that is definitely good to hear. Never know where or when I'll get recommended, but as long as it's happening, I am happy with that. Eggs. Oof, mess. Yeah, I'm curious about that tree thing now, too. How much hardwood do we have? I know we don't have much. Yeah, we have six. I was thinking that. Ah. We're a bit off. Oh, whoops. Yeah, it might be... Uh... Oh, we can go fix that board, can't we? That is a thing. We are very organized. Clearly. Uh, what have we got here? Need to move some stuff over here, I think. Okay, we'll, we'll move over the things categorized as forage, I guess. That's, that's something we can do. Did you, uh, just come from a hollow live stream then, or...? Yeah, we might go fix that bridge. Why not? We have enough time. Oh yeah, I gotta remember to hit these too. Get some good stuff. Prehistoric hand axe. Oh, yeah, another thing for Gunther. Nice. Need to get as many of those as possible. Another uh, starter up there, potentially. This is faster. Maybe. Uh, I mean, sort of. Yeah, I guess that's faster. Uh, yeah, Joda, did you want me to check something here, or...? Oh, nice. I think we needed, uh, one of those for the community center. I don't remember where... Oh, yeah, no, yeah, Nautilus Shell. Oh, and Purple Mushroom, right. Let's get this bridge fixed. Beautiful. Sea urchin. Ooh, did I need one of those? Yes, I did. And we got a duck feather. Nice. Fix the board, then go to the tide pool area. I assume these are the these are tide pools, right? Hmm. Got a few things for the community center. Is there a big shell in the upper left? Uh well if I check the left, I'll be able to tell you. <laughs> I definitely didn't just go to the right. I hope this wasn't a mod I had. I'm uh, not seeing anything. Either way, I got stuff at the community center, and so I'm good. But I'm uh, not seeing anything at the moment. Oh god, it was? <laughs> okay. Well, either way, I needed to get the bridge fixed. Uh, more on seriously, it's fine. <laughs> No worries here. I had completely forgot about this bridge, so. All good for me. Do we need that? Hmm, either way. That's two things for the community center. Gotta get the duck feather in that chest as well before I forget.
zero of for two of my hay mana check this out recently. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. In both cases, we need the stuff in the air anyway, so it works out. We'll sort our community center stuff real quick. Uh, right, don't red mushroom. Yeah, no longer needed. All right, I really should have like a separate box for like. Yeah, it's fine. So sea urchin, yes. Nautilus shell, yes. Uh, duck feather. Do I have a crappier one? No, I do not. Yes. Uh, waiting on the winter bundle. Ruffle and monkey roll, waiting on rice. Apples. Alright, we need some crappy wine for this one. Need purple mushroom. Vault needs money. Okay, we're doing alright. those away yeah we should get a purple mushroom at some point from our logs so that's kind of covered apple do i don't know do apples pop up in the fruit cave i haven't had any from there rabbit's foot we'll get once we have rabbits uh what kind of crappy wine can we make i ain't giving him the good stuff hmm Cranberry wine? I have plenty of those. None of them are done, but... So I don't forget about it. Uh, oh, we're all caught up. Good. Um, What do we need for the deluxe barn and coop? Because we really should get that sorted. We definitely need more wood. Got enough money for once, which is nice. Got enough for four more kegs. Right, the sweet gem berry. I know we can get a star drop from that. Is anyone like... Can anyone give me a hint without spoilers? Because I, I only know that that is connected to getting a star drop and literally nothing else, so... I, I don't really know what to do about that. <laughs> Uh, we'll carry that on us for now, too. Uh, what else is in here that doesn't need to be? That doesn't... Uh, algae's fine. Bait. Uh, wait, that does not go... Wait, no, that does go there. Organize. Uh, good, good. All right. We are doing okay. Although I still haven't gotten the mine today, and I really do want to. Ooh, got a good payday. Nice. That pumpkin uses good stuff. Oh, good morning, Adia. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Oh, uh, hello. Good morning, dear. Oh, right, they have winter clothes now. It was a lovely walk out here. I haven't seen this old farm in a long time. It looks even better than I remember. Uh, I mean, it is winter, but I appreciate it. Here, I brought you a little something. It's a gift from one gardener to another. Oh, right. Received a garden pot. These pots are really handy. You can use them to grow crops of any season indoors. They also look nice outside, but out here they can only house in-season crops. If you need more, they're really easy to make too. Here, I've got an old magazine clipping with instructions. Can you set up sprinklers in your house for these? Well, I better go. George gets grumpy if he doesn't have his oatmeal in time. That, that makes sense. You have a great day, honey. Well, thank you. 
Last time I put one of these, I kept forgetting to water it. You can live here for now. Uh, do I have like a sunflower seed or something? No, I use them, damn. Because I wouldn't mind using it just to like have a sunflower in the house, honestly. I could live with that. That way once it's done, I can... It doesn't matter if I forget about it. <laughs> I've only got to water it until it's done. I was so confused about Evelyn's photo. Yeah, I was like thinking for a second there. Wait, who are you? But then, yeah. They do have winter clothes now. I'd forgotten about that. Alright, they're all good. Better tend the animals and then we will do something productive. Maybe, maybe. Oh, it's Wednesday, recipe day. It is nice to remember, though I'm going to forget in like 30 seconds, so we'll see how we go. Water the cows, milk the cows, either way. What about you guys? Yeah, these are like, they're off days. I don't know if I should wait a day to line them up or... Ah, it's fine for today. I might do that though, like give it an extra day so they line up. It's not a big deal, just a little bit easier. Alright, processing. I like that the uh, water lake turns the ice like that. I didn't notice that um last time. You guys all warm enough? Hopefully. Oh, crappy feather, nice. That can go for the community center. Have you all been petted? Yes. Oh, nice, we're hitting four and a half with uh, some of them now. Wait, why do you have grass in the winter? Oh, that was also a change in uh, 1.6. Uh, grass now remains in the winter, but it doesn't grow. So, yeah, it doesn't spread at all, but it also doesn't die off. So, yeah, it's quite nice. Because I would have lost a lot of grass. I have so much grass. Really good supply of hay cutting through the middle and letting it grow back. Cries in console. Ah. Hopefully it won't be too much longer. Yeah, that's a really nice change. I feel like that's kind of works though too, like it's fitting, like the grass stays but just doesn't grow, like... I think that's pretty, uh, pretty good. Has there been any word on the console mobile switch updates or anything? I'm assuming it's still just like as soon as possible, but... I haven't uh, kept up. To, I haven't kept up. Nope, oh, that is not milk. Well, I'm starting to get a lot more uh, purples. Or iridium. Is it meant to be iridium quality? I just, I just think purple. I've never actually looked it up. Don't forget to check the TV. Thank you. I did pet kitty, yes. Oh wait, did we hit five stars? Oh shit, we did. I remember seeing in the patch notes that we can get like a second pet, but I don't know how it works, so... Maybe we'll get an event now that we're at five stars? Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce. Here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. Glazed yams. It's yam season, and what better way to enjoy these delightful tubers than by slathering them in sweet, sticky glaze? You need a nice ripe yam and a whole bunch of sugar. And here's how you do it. You learned how to cook glazed yams. That's, that is a recipe. Wow, it's actually not bad. Sugar and yam, 200 energy. Huh. That is, uh, that is not terrible on the energy food front. Oh, a long way of five with some of them, but yeah, Pepsi has hit five. Hmm. Interesting.
No updates about console. I'm currently replaying Final Fantasy 15. Oh, okay, awesome. I really want to play uh, Final Fantasy 16. I am very looking forward to when that finally comes to PC. <laughs> oh, they're meant to be there. Uh, okay, what am I doing? Let's the mine. Let, let's, uh... I shouldn't have this much crap on me if I'm going to mine this, should I? Uh, this dwarf scroll. He caused problems. I just need more chests. I don't want to use more wood. Fine. Always more trees. Okay. This can be the chest I just dump stuff in. Uh, that can be... Mm, you're something. All right, go, go, go. Hello? All right. That is a thing. Uh, it's, uh, it's fine. I haven't been to mine yet. We've got to go there. That, that is, in fact, town. If we have any luck with iron. Oh, nice. Well, you know, I have so many things, and I would kind of like to upgrade tools as well, which is a, another thing. We also need coal. Who's a fan of root veggies? I am. <laughs> About the sweet gem berry, just remember sweet gem berry and keep repeating that internally. Uh, okay. Also not a euphemism. Okay, I'll behave. <laughs> I mean, root veggies are pretty good. I can agree with this. Holy crap, so many bouncies. Hello, coal. Uh, just remember sweet, uh, sweet gem berry and keep repeating it internally. That, I... Oh, Monster Compendium, what is that? Is, like, repeating that meant to make me, like, think of something? Oh, cool, more of you. Hmm. What is this? Monsters have a small chance to drop double loot. Oh. Well, okie dokie. You learned a new power, nice. I don't know how much that is at the bookseller, but... Nice. Uh, I am repeating the sweet gem berry thing, but I... Not clicking it much. Sony is such a gatekeeper. Square released all the FF titles. PC and Xbox, so I don't know why we don't have FF7 Remake, or FF16. Yeah, I think they just, uh... Yeah, it'll probably be, like, quite a while, then they'll release some sort of, like, definitive edition thing that'll be on PC, or... something like that. I mean, I'm in no rush for FF16, I've got other things I want to finish, but... I, uh, I definitely do want to play it at some point. a little bit. Oh, ten iron anyway. <laughs> Not great. 
But I guess these are the levels for it. I don't know if, like, I'm assuming 40. Like, is there better levels for iron? I guess there is some luck when you come down here to it. Oh, we're getting coal. It's useful. Getting ladders. Oh, getting a shirt. That's something. Yeah, sweet gem berry, nothing, nothing's really clicking here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not divining anything. Forty-five. Oh, ladder. Thank you. Yeah, be no worries. I'm still thinking on sweet gem berry, but I ain't getting anywhere. I can't think of any, like, anything I would associate it with. I mean, gem, berry, gem, flint, <laughs> I don't know. Flint's about the only thing I could really think of. Just because he's the, that guy. Hmm. I need to make sure I get these two because we're super low on stone. They are a big help. Wheat. Uh. Um. I, I, I just don't know. I guess maybe I need to think on that. We're good here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait. Hmm. Oh, you can see them all in their winter clothes now, and the portraits. Ah, that's cool. Ugh, yawning. It's a bit of a mix. Some of them quite rugged up with a beanie. Wizard looking the same. Uh, right, sweet. Um, I don't, like, I, hmm. I'm really not clicking away thing. I mean, like a person. Ugh. Okay, now I can't stop yawning. Person, an area. Wait, what was mentioned about it earlier? Sorry, just gotta scroll up chat for one second. Which I'm hopefully not gonna miss what I'm looking for. Um 
Oh, right. Cinder Sap Forest was mentioned. Oh, no, that was, uh... Oh, yeah, no, I think. Cinder Sap Forest was mentioned, I think. But I have no idea what that is. Can you date or marry in this game? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Um... Where are we at? Yeah, any of the ones that say single, um, you can marry, yeah. And they'll, like, move into your house and stuff. I haven't done that yet, so I'm not as familiar. Um, but I know they can move into your house, and they'll help on the farm, and I think you can have kids? Is that a... I think? Pretty sure? Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure if you... How does, I don't actually know how it works. Like, if you are dating, then you marry, or you... But, uh, yeah, I know you can marry, and I know they can move in. And I know they can help on the farm. Other things I'm less sure about. I assume there's, like, some events when you get the hearts up. But, uh, yeah, I haven't really got into that part of the game yet. But, yeah, I, have, I don't remember how many there are, actually. But one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, it must be twelve people you can uh, marry. Anyone with a little single tag under their name. Well, if you get their hearts up enough, anyway. Um, what was the same before? Oh yeah, like Cinder, I think Cinder Sap Forest was mentioned. I'm, I'm pretty sure that was in regards to the rare seed, but I, I have no idea what that is. Can I see the map right now? Oh yeah, I hadn't looked at the map since it turned winter. I know the secret woods. But I, I have no idea what Cinder Sap Forest is. No idea. Any iron? Yeah, we I haven't got much. 25. I mean, that's a pick up. I mean, uh, well, yeah, pick or axe upgrade, I guess. Pick upgrade... Well, what do we want, actually? Oh, yeah, I want to upgrade the pick, but yeah, we kind of need the... The axe upgrade would be helpful for the hardwood stuff. Oh, I'll get a bit more. Oh, damn, that bag is, uh, empty. Back. Coffee, my beloved, as we would say. Coffee sounds good. I should really reheat mine. That would be nice. Ah, oh, not even stairs. There are, in fact, ladders. Aquamarine... Where you get to impersonate me sometimes in live chat. Only fair. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, see if we can get a little bit more. Alright, we still need ectoplasm too. And a prismatic shard. I guess we'll have to get lucky on that. I did get two last time. Surprisingly easy, it seemed like. Oh, mystery box from uh, the ghost. Oh, it is uh, almost one. Whoops. Okay, let's grab these last couple bits and we'll, uh, we'll warp. I didn't realize it was that late. 
Well, that's a nice thing about having warp tokens. Totems. A little further away from the house than I'd like. Probably not bad though. And good. Orageable. A mystery box and a bed. Kitty. I'm going to stop playing STV for now to make sure I still want to play when 1.6 hits a switch. Oh, okay. That's fair enough. Oh, also, welcome back. A little bit late. Uh, what did that say? I should read the names of tabs. Hello, friend. A mountain lake has been kind to me lately. I'd like to share my good fortune with you. Oh, Linus, my boy. Thank you. Oh, I need that for the community center, too. Oh, ain't you a champ? What a legend. Absolutely. MVP all the way, every day. Some inventory pain. Uh, axe, or something like that. Yep. Get it. All right, we can put a cranberry in there for some cheap wine. I take a call. Did you figure out the sweet gemberry thing? Ah, uh, no idea. No idea. Cinder snap forest, I think it was, was mentioned uh, early in the stream, which I think was in regards to it, but I have no idea what that is. Here's a sacrifice I'll make for my friend. Oh yeah, that's cool. Because, I mean, I mean, ideally it will be sooner than later, but obviously, even if it's a, if it's a couple of weeks and you're well into Stargy, you can... not hard to put a fair bit of time in. <laughs> so, that'll be good. Uh, right. Are any of the others done? Yes, crap, I did not refill those, apparently. That is becoming a bad habit. Make sure those are going as well. We're mostly keeping up on the eggs and stuff. Okay, all bopping. Just got over 100k. Let's make sure the greenhouse is all good. Check the cave. Did I get the recipe yesterday? I think I didn't, but now I'm not sure. The days really blur together for me after a while. No community center. You at one point talked to something that mentioned something about sweet. Hmm. Okay. I'll let my brain thonk. 
You did? It was glazed jeans? Oh, okay, it was that yesterday. So yeah, the, the days just start blurring together for me. I remember the recipes I got, but like, could have been... Yeah, okay. We all good. Right, animals. That is a, that is a, and that is a task. Hello, everyone. How are you today? Producing delicious malt to make delicious cheese. Very good. That's what I thought. Yeah, we'll ignore the goats today, so then they'll line up. They'll be... It's only two missed out for a day, so... Just to make it a little bit easier. At one point you talked to something that mentioned about sweet. Hmm. Ah, uh, did I forget to give you guys hay? I feel like I... I'm surprised I would have forgot one and not the other. My bad. My bad, everyone. How did I forget to give them hay? I mean, I forgot them today, to be fair. Just surprised I would have done one and not the other. That's why I really need the deluxe upgrade so the silo will handle that. <laughs> it's a lot easier. Oh, mayo. And what was I doing? Right. Should smelt that iron. We didn't get a ton, but we've got enough for nine ingots. That's alright. One month to console, maybe hopeful. My money is, is now in two months. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you should have had, like, realistically, developers should have had plenty of time to kind of line things up a little better than usual, but it's uh, likely also not that simple with waiting for, like, review stuff and... Because, I mean, he may also want to drop it on all consoles at once. So, like, it could be ready for Switch or something in a couple weeks, but then it's not ready for another console in, like, a month because he may not want to be doing, like you know, Switch, Xbox, then PlayStation, like, one week apart each or something, so it could also be, like, waiting for them all to line up. Like, I'm not sure how it was in the past with uh, those releases, but maybe it could also be something like that that's holding it up, unfortunately, for some consoles. Because, uh, yeah, it could be, like, Nintendo's already done and, you know, waiting another month for Xbox to review or something, I don't know. I'm not sure what PlayStation's like with that stuff either. Um, Alright, Winter Mystery. We should go find that. And... Giant Stump. Uh, yeah, let's get a little bit more hardwood. Then we'll go follow those footsteps. The shiny honey is making me rock back and forth. <laughs> Rocking on the X and Y axis, huh? One, two, three, four. Oh no, I messed up again. That's rough. I'm still, like, completely stumped on this DM thing. Trying to think. Talk to something that mentioned about something sweet. Is there, like, are you for sure that I have done this talking? You or anyone else? Because I, if I have, okay, I'll keep thinking. And maybe something will pop, but are you sure I have done this? Whatever that may be. Is, uh... Wait, yeah, you you're going for Bellum, right? Is Bellum a starter? No, Beldum. Beldum. Missing a letter there. 
Um, is that a starter or you, is, is that one of the ones in the early grass? I played very little Unbound, but I, I do remember Bellum being early. I couldn't remember the starter though. I feel like it was in the grass early, but could be mixing up games too. It's been so long since I played a ROM hack. I have? Okay. In this farm, not the other farm? Like, not in my... Are you sure I've done it in this farm and not just my first farm? But I guess I need to rack my brain. Hmm. The wizard's kind of something. Oh crap. Sorry, hit my cut enough that did anything. In Unbound, yeah, the starters are Beldum, Gibble, and L Lavatar. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oof, all good choices. I probably would have to go Beldum still, though. I was a big fan of Beldum in, uh, back in the days of Ruby. Was that all? Oh, sorry. I get so thrown off when I... I really love that you can tab through, but I get so mixed up when I'm not uh, on the correct one. Make sure they're going. Alright, that away, that away. Those can go away for now. Those in there. Those to sell. Uh, one of those, make it even. May as well smelt that. And we'll get, we'll get five more of those out to smelt as well. Yeah, we'll just get a bunch of stuff. We may as well get them smelted up for later. No reason not to. Yeah, I really need to look at the ROM hack stuff again, because I, I really want to play one on stream. I don't know how you guys feel about it, um, but I, I really want to play one on stream at some point. Maybe go for, like, a shorter one so it's, like, not so crazy, like... Because I feel like the, uh, the Team Rocket one would be fun. Uh, okay. I'll be back in just one sec. Uh, I guess I'll unpause just so they can run. But yeah, I'll be back in just like a minute. I'm going to heat my coffee real quick and see if standing up and walking around jogs my memory about the berry thing. But uh, yeah, I'll be as quick as I can. Should be just a minute. Well, like two, but yeah. I'll be quick.
And a back. Thank you for waiting. I'll just be like one sec, putting on a jumper. Oh my god, he didn't pause the game. Yeah, I, I thought I would let these run, but I don't know how long they were already done. Yeah, I'm just putting a jumper on. Well, a jacket, but close enough. It is uh, cooling off a bit. Okay. Oh, good. Jacketed and coffee hot. Uh, all processed. Why are you done? Just you, huh? Melon wine does sound pretty great. Can't say I've ever had melon wine. Good, good. Um, yeah, so wait, how do you um go about the uh, starter shiny hunting? Like, you're playing on an actual 3DS, right? So do you just have to do, like, a restart every time, or...? With a starter? Uh, what else do we need to do? How much hay do we actually have at the moment? Actually, skipping that, there's a bunch more trees here than I realized. Cause I, I really want to get the Lux Coupon Bar, like, we got the money. Like, we literally just need the resources. Hello, Mel and Jay. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Appreciate the lurking. We're uh, just into winter, so things are a bit rough. <laughs> well, I guess you've been lurking, so you have been here. Well, and so you know my brain is definitely not on, so. But yeah. Appreciate the lurking. <laughs> One time I fell asleep before pausing my game. Since I didn't sell anything that day, the game kept going. I fell asleep on my couch on spring 8 and woke up and it was 4.15, had to restart. Oh, damn. That's, uh, that's rough. Because I guess that also means you were just passing out every day. <laughs> ah, that's rough. Discovered the secret suite yet? I have not. I have not. Nothing comes to mind whatsoever. Not in the slightest. go somewhere. Alright, we sleep. We need to chop a lot of wood tomorrow, maybe. That would be good. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. I guess, yeah, if you uh, leave the game accidentally or fall asleep, yeah. You'll just, like, pass out over and over and over. <laughs> that's rough. Oh, it just popped up Pepsi Loves You. Is that like a... Okay. Well, we're at five hearts, but we were previously. Wait, didn't the... Uh, does it not show there anymore? Didn't it used to have like a pet thing somewhere? I thought it like showed a pet thing like with your cat and horse or something here or something. Didn't it used to do that? 
Well, either way. Hmm. Good Pepsi. Aren't you the bestest? Uh, bake rod. Good job, Pepsi. Oh, we got some more uh, keg materials. Don't berries grow wild in the woods? Uh, I'm, I mean, I don't know. Is there like a place I'm unaware of? Although I apparently talked to someone, so that's something I feel like I should be able to remember. Though I apparently do not. Unbound on my phone, four times speed. I have a save before interacting with the Beldum and I soft reset. A, B, start select each time, it isn't shiny. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, I, th yeah, okay, huh. Is there uh, any reason you went with your phone over 3DS? I thought uh, 3DS would be like way better. Wow, well, that does sound convenient, so that's uh, not too rough then. Well. Relatively speaking, when talking about shiny hunting. Learned my lesson, now I make sure to throw something in the shipping tent every day just in case I fall asleep, since I game late night. Ah, that, that is smart, yeah. That does solve the problem. That is probably wise. I could see that, like, especially if you're someone who, like, plays late on Switch laying in bed or something. That, that, uh, that could be a hazard. Uh, who did we not get milk from? Uh, no? Did I look at the wrong thing? Yes, I did. All good. Thank you, everyone. It used to show the pet and horse in the 1.5 version. I suppose now you can get multiple. will it change? Ah, uh, yeah. I guess, yeah, they're just here now. But I guess the horse will show up in this list as well, huh? Not sure how we get the second pet, but I, I assume it'll probably come up naturally in some way, because I do remember reading that you had to get five hearts before it happens and today it popped up that like pepsi loves you thing so maybe some sort of event will trigger soon not sure good good I always have my phone on me, plus my boy emulator is just so easy to use. Oh, okay, that's fair enough. That makes sense. Get eat. Shouldn't you be inside? No. Fair enough. Uh, too much stuff. Why you guys gotta lay so much variety? It's fine. All right, we had a lot of trees over this way to chop. Um. All right, before I read, don't berries grow wild in the woods, which I feel like that still alludes to something I'm not sure on, because that just makes me think of like berry bushes and foraging on the ground and things. Like, I'm not aware of any forests other than the secret woods. And I mean, I guess down in this area, if you could call it that. Well, I'm not sure if you know this, but you can plant fruit trees in greenhouse. I place mine right beside the wall on either side, not in the plots. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, uh, I only know that because I had seen the wiki for greenhouse when I was checking for a layout. Yeah, we, um, we got an orange tree for our ticket earlier. Which is uh, currently growing in there. 
Yeah, it's really nice that you can place them on the side. I, uh, yeah, I wouldn't have known that if I hadn't just seen it on the wiki randomly. Actually, I don't think I was checking that. I was checking something about the greenhouse. But then it had, uh, like a layout thingy down the bottom of the wiki. Still thinking on the sweet thing. I mean, there's been... Well, someone said Cinder Snap Forest or Cinder Sap Forest. Which I have no idea what that is. I've apparently talked to someone. Sweet was referenced multiple times. I have no idea who. Hmm. Are you guys sure I did whatever that was on this farm and not just the last farm? I mean, I feel like either way I should remember. But I, I can't really think of many... Like, anyone I've really spoke to, like, outside of the town people. successful thinking. <laughs> Is it gonna be something like super obvious that I'm just like, oh my god, how did I not think of that? Mare shorts? That's not, that's not sweet. Oh, we got some, uh, horror jewels popping up. I remember you did it on your first stream of this farm. Oh, okay. Huh. Hmm. Well, that is a puzzler. How am I not thinking of this? I feel like it's going to be so obvious. Maybe the secret slimes can help? Hmm. Trying to think of the first stream. I can attest to show it's a salty, not sweet. <laughs> that, uh... That is very likely true. Probably not something I would want to be able to attest to, though. Uh, anything interesting here? Retro catalog. A collection of unique furniture from a bygone era. 110,000. Ay, ay, ay. Decorative land. That looks... I kind of like that, actually. Shrimp? Hmm, I'll take a shrimp, actually. Red snapper. Do I need that? I mean, there's like a few hundred, so if I need them or something, I mean... Why not? Yeah, I'll take a red snapper. Cactus fruit. Eh. I know I can get that later. Right, where do I need that? Is it worth buying? Where the hell is that? Wait, have I done that one? Maybe it was this one of them. Okay, I do not remember where I need the cactus fruit, but apparently it's gone, so all good. Cork bobber. Slightly increases the size of a fishing bar. Oh. That that actually sounds potentially kinda nice. We'll buy you. That retro catalog, has anyone got that before? 110,000? Which I guess long term, that's not a ton, but 
I'd be curious what that uh, opens up. It was exotic foraging, and yes, you've completed it. Oh, okay. I know, right? I need to filter my humor better, even with scant hours of rest. Uh, no need for filter, I would say. All good here. Uh, whoops. Oof, we have a bit of a mix going on. Okay, let's get that one done. Get those going. And put some things away for now. Erm. Community. Seeds. Uh, cork can go in there. How big is this land? Um, I don't know how much light this thing gives. Where do I put you here? How much will you give me at night? Maybe there. Actually, it might even be good in the house. What are you doing, kitty? Okay, make some space. I think the cactus fruit was on the option for the greenhouse. Yeah, I don't know what I ended up, what did I end up using? I thought I, hmm. well, I completed it, so all good. All good. Yeah, I might keep that on me. Actually, we'll put it inside. Curious how much light this would give for, uh... Like we said over here. Oh, that's... That's not a ton of light. Hmm. You can go here. But now, sure. It's, it's a spot. Okay, let's go grab some hardwood. Oh, how is uh how is stuff in here going? Oh, something's ready. Oh, summer squash. Very good. Not a big harvest, but it's something. I'm still trying to think on the sweet thing. I is there any other hint I can be given without giving it away? Otherwise, we'll just slowly hope for the best. Uh, I think we're all good. Otherwise, there. Gonna grab some hardwood. Yeah, that is way too convenient. Keep forgetting, I need to make another glow ring too. I missed the double glow ring. Secret slimes, do you know things? No. Okay. Sweet gem berries taste sweet. In case anything, you know, want something sweet. I really do not remember whatever this was. Hmm. Well. I'll remember one day. Dying right now, I'm crying. <laughs> That's rough. How 
much hardwood do we have now? Very curious what this big tree is going to turn into. I assume it's a new thing. Can we like give some now or do we have to bring a hundred? The old tree is gone. However, with the 100 pieces of hardwood, this could be fixed up. Like you could reach out and touch it. Less worried about him putting two and two together and more guessing how he reacts to the aha moment. I'm assuming it's something obvious. Ish. I'll probably figure it out before I actually remember anything. That would, that would make sense. Uh, what else away? Yeah, we're 42 out of 100. That's something. Cheese, gold bars. Why did you swap places? I have not been checking the calendar. Damn. Let's see. Oh no, I missed Linus's birthday. Ah. Ah, pain. Ah. Man, it's like the only birthday I care about. Ah, I have to get you the bestest present next year, buddy. Ah, uh, whoops. Just messed up my notes. One second. There we go. Ah, oh, Linus, my boy. Oh, oh, ah, uh, okay, okay. Good job, brain. You should carry it with you to jog your brain. New no, poor Linus. Time to restart the farm. Yeah. Ah. Uh. I'm gonna have to go give him some good presents to make up for it. Ah, oh, that really sucks. It's like the only one I care about. Ah, uh, I'll save some goat cheese for you, buddy. Damn, man. That is so disappointing. Ah, oh, that really bothers me. Damn. Um, but I should carry this on me, I suppose. There's no risk. Ah, oh, I should give Linus the other one. I mean, you'd like that. Oh, if it's 11. Uh, I guess we're good? Yeah. Oh, what is the time? 3 o'clock. Okay, we're still alright. Yeah, I can't, I can't go for too long tonight, unfortunately, but still all right. Foraging level eight. Oh, we can make the totem now. That's good. Ten kit, survival of Bulger. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to remember, but I'll, I'll figure it out from hints, I suppose. <laughs> It's 
3 a.m. where you are? Ah, uh, yeah, like right on 3 a.m. <laughs> Dear Mana, from what I can tell you, you've been taking really good care of your pet. I'm really happy about that. But there are many sweet animals that need a home. If you're interested, I'll start offering pet adoptions at my shop. Just be aware that there is a licensing fee and also that each pet will want their own outdoor pet bowl area, or else they'll still be unhappy. Robin will be happy to construct additional pet bowls for a price. See you soon, Marnie. Oh, okay. So we have to have Robin construct a new pet bowl before we can get a second pet. I've got an unusual request. Could you keep this a secret? I want you to deliver an amethyst to Emily. <laughs> it's a favorite stone. Tell her it's from me. Uh, I can do that for you, bud. Poor Clint. Ah. Poor Clint. He tries. He really likes her. It's noon here. It's already Friday for you. How's it in the future? It's pretty good. A little chilly. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, uh, 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. is kind of my usual stream time area. Alright, gotta replace... Just kegs. More pumpkin juice it is. Good, good. All bobbin. I don't feel bad for Clint. Am I the asshole? Uh, well, you guys would probably know more about the various, you know, people. So, I I do not know. I mean, I've only I've seen he clearly likes her and he tries to like show it somewhat, but I I haven't seen him be like creepy or anything. Um, but yeah, you guys would probably know better. Thank you. And I definitely wasn't about to forget your hay. No idea what you're talking about. See? BRB meeting, but it should be quick. Okay, no worries, no worries. Hope it goes well. Hello, everyone. Enjoying the heater? Excuse me. Grab a couple more. Ah. Grab a couple more. Alright. That for processing. Sweet gem berry one day. Amethyst for quest. Goat cheese for friend. Alright, we've got to follow the footsteps thing too. I forgot about that. Alright, we've got a couple things to do. Oh, we should also get Robin to construct a new bowl. Yes. Which I'm assuming's probably not that expensive and just costs wood. Hmm, not sure. Uh, I guess we'll take wooden stone just in case. Get eight. Actually, we have like 560 wood. That might be enough to get the next uh, Cupo Barn upgrade, finally. I had the money for that for a while. just needed more resources again. Eat holly. That's a... That could be taken different ways. Alright, where is Emily? But, um, yeah, what, do you guys not like Clint, or, like, is there... 
something bad or <laughs> I assume she's here. Hello? I assume that's you, but I can't see the top of my screen. Oh yep, I see now. Alright, guess I ain't making it that far. Now is a good time to upgrade tools, especially watering can. Yeah, true, true. I really should go get some more iron. Uh, make sure we get uh, things upgraded through winter. Yeah. Not even that, just he never goes for it. Got to go for it and be graceful about it regardless. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. I just didn't know if there was like something I didn't know about him or anything like. Uh, but yeah, that, that's, uh, that's that's fair. Cause I remember at the, is it the dance one? When he like says like, I wonder if she'd dance with me or like I want to, he says something, but the implication is he doesn't actually ask her. And he wants me to give her the amethyst. And maybe maybe he's a shy guy. Unfortunately him. But yeah, I didn't know if he like did something creepy at any point or something. But I guess he's just uh, shy and yeah. Something like that maybe. What are we out here? Oh wait, you need hardwood for that, really? They're all of them? Well, that seems unnecessary. Oh, it's instant too, too. Okay, interesting. Uh, but speaking of other things... Yeah, I need a bit more stone. Hmm, okay. Oh, interesting. I didn't know the cabins were instant. Wait, are these like... Can you actually put stuff in these? They're instant, they cost a hundred gold, and there's no material cost. That's interesting. Wait, can I get a trailer on my property? Wait, can I really just get like a hundred dollar extra house? Like it says for a friend, but like I can still just do it and it's... What's what's the catch here? I believe in my first playthrough when I married Emily, there was a cutscene of him still trying to go after her. <laughs> uh, you can make a trailer? I, it would seem so. It's in the, it's in the cabin selection. Those cheap ones are buildings for more players. The catch is you can't upgrade them. Oh, but that still seems like, I mean, it's a hundred G's, no materials. I'm gonna get this for no reason then. Why not? I don't know where you're going, but you're going somewhere. I will absolutely have a caravan thingy on my property. Hmm. Where do you want to go? You can go here. Beautiful. This cabin is prefabricated, so there's no construction time. Convenient, isn't it? It it is. I mean, couldn't you like couldn't you use them for like indoor like storage and things like that? Like you can get more of them? Like couldn't you put like kegs and things inside of these things? Or is there something else to it that I'm unaware of? Like a shed costs 15k and 300 wood. Couldn't you just get a cabin? I know it's not quite as big, but like, I don't know. 
Feels like this should be a catch or something. Hmm, yeah, we definitely need, uh... So I guess we need, what, 1,050 wood total. And 500 stone. Okay. We also, re yeah, we need hardwood. Hmm. That is unfortunate. My friend, I'm so sorry I forgot your birthday. This is a great gift, thank you. No worries, bud. I'm happy by myself, you know. I don't need new friends. Well, I'm always here for you, bud. You get more storage with sheds? I believe it's small on the outside as well? Oh yeah, yeah, I mean, I guess they're not ideal, it just seems... I didn't know if there was like some more catch to it or something like like the fact that they're basically free and you can build them instantly. Um, how much hard we do have enough hardwood, don't we? Uh let's yeah, let's upgrade our axe. And, yeah, because once we do that, we can start getting more hardwood. I want to do, like, that tree thing, but I want to get a second pet. Oh, the inventory is pain right now. I think we needed, yeah, one of them for community center. Uh, sell that. We only need 25 of those. Um, what else? Alright, let's, uh, yeah. We'll put our axe in. May as well get it done. Definitely want to get our watering can upgraded soon, but... This will let us get more hardwood, which will be good. Deal axe, yes please. And now to wherever I was definitely going next. Yes. What was the other thing I needed? Oh, snow yam. Oh, rusty cog. A snow yams the ones that, like, do you have to get them in the ground too? Right has not seen them yet. Oof, wait, really 65k? I thought the second house upgrade was 50,000. 65,000, huh? Why did I think it was in 50k? Hmm. Uh, let me get one of those ones. They look kind of nice. Maybe? 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 No, I might get the matching one. Put them next to each other that way. Yeah. This pep pole is prefabricated, so there's no construction time. Convenient, isn't it? Well, I mean, it is. It is just a bowl. And now... Can we get to Marnie? Wait, is she there? 4 p.m. Er. I don't know the fastest way. Yeah, I think I only need a snow yam to uh, complete this now, right? Yeah, because I got that. The bridge can be done as soon as I get a snow yam. 
I don't remember if that was a ground one or. I think we can just about make it to Marnie's. I'm not sure how much pets cost or what the options are or how this works, but. I am intrigued. Adopt pets. 40,000. Okay, Marnie. Talking about how there's all these pets that need homes and shit. They're 40k! Ay, ay, ay. Oh, there are pet turtles, though. Holy crap, that one's 500,000. That better be a ninja turtle. Fletch. <laughs> A little bit, a little bit. Distant cousin, eh, Marnie? Damn. It's 500,000. Hmm. I guess we may have to wait a little bit, because... I really want to get like the deluxe spawning coop. I wasn't expecting it to be this much. Like we can afford it now, but like it's immediately cutting back our money a lot. I mean, I think we can get it soon. I just feel like we should really prioritize the barn and coop over anything else. So we can get them like stocked up with the other animals and everything. Cause that helps the money roll in. We should name our next pet after emulators, Citra, Semu, Yuzu, Rip. <laughs> yeah, we could do that. Uh, fortunately, Yuzu is continuing. Uh, I forget the new name. But uh, another group has kind of taken over. Because it's open source, so another group has kind of taken over and renamed. And uh, continuing on. Um, There's like a proper website for it and stuff. They've just kind of taken away all the things that made Yuzu like a problem for Nintendo legally and stuff. Uh, what is that? What is it? Uh, what is it called? I can't think now. Oh, where did I run into it? Remember to give Amethyst to Emily? Oh yeah, we do need to do that. Hello Galaxy, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Your money would be better spent right now upgrading buildings and tools? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, unfortunately. <laughs> Oh, it's Sue you. Yeah. Yeah. S U Y U. Yeah, that is the continuation of Yuzu, if uh, anyone is curious and uh, use that. Yeah, yeah, they have a website that is S U Y U dot dev. Hello, Especi. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. I mean, there's no reason I can't link it, right? Yeah, it's fine. I'll just link it in chat. Whoops. Yeah, I kind of want this uh, purple turtle, but damn. That's for the rich people, huh? Hmm, I guess we'll have to wait a little bit. Unfortunate. I definitely want that turtle. I mean, not the expensive one, but the, the uh, green one. But yeah, I think we'll uh, upgrade a couple tools and get the 
Deluxe coop and a barn first. Then we will get a pet turtle. Just not the $500,000 one, because oh my god, that is insane. That is for future rich mana. And that's going to be a while. Where were you going to see? <laughs> I was just uh, briefly talking about the continuation of Yuzu. S U Y U. Yeah, I haven't looked at it too much, but I think they've kind of just like removed anything that would uh, allow like any sort of legal case to happen. Because uh, Yuzu kind of did a few things they shouldn't have done that wasn't too smart. Um, so I think Suyu's like trying to avoid all that. But yeah, it's really good to see that uh, Yuzu will be like continued essentially though. Because I always worry with Nintendo like it's a... Uh, yeah, because it's kind of like emulators like that. They're really the only thing that holds together... Uh, game preservation. Uh, did I put one of them in here? Because, like, even now with the 3DS, like, with store... Uh, it's because the store shut down. And, like, you, you want to play some games, the cart... Like, to actually find the cartridge that's, like, a couple hundred bucks on eBay or something already for some of these 3DS games. And over time, they'll get worse and worse. The cartridges will fail. And, uh... Doesn't take long to get to a point where there are some games you just, yeah, cannot play without emulating them, and they'd be completely lost forever without it. Which I think is very unfortunate. Oh, damn snowy. Yeah, we still need the yam, don't we? Hmm. Uh, what else are we doing then? We kind of need stone and wood, huh? Those are kind of the big ones, of which I cannot get wood right now, can I? <laughs> I knew that. I definitely knew that. Uh, did I check the greenhouse today? The yawns begin. How are you, kitty? Would you like a brother turtle? Turtle sister? Friend? Something? Colleague? No, just gonna sleep in the snow? Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hmm. We have got some things here I could sell. I might sell the gold and silver cranberries because we still have 174 regular ones there we can process. Yeah, why not? The sweet berry still eludes me. Uh. I don't know what to do. Energy, it's like not that late. We have energy. Mm. Don't think it actually uses energy, but I might chop a little grass. Won't go back to next season, but... Might just like chop a path through and it can all uh, fill in later. Just get us a bit extra hay. I wonder if you get less hay in winter, because this seems like I'm getting not that much. Hmm. Oh wait, can I break these big rocks now? Or is that iron? Did I already check that? Right. I knew that. Clearly. Cave. Do you have things for me? 
Oh, you do? Very good. I don't really know what to do without an axe when we have energy. I mean, there's nothing wrong with just sleeping, I guess. I just, I always feel like I'm wasting something. Oh, get a few more goodies to sell. Guess we'll just head to bed. Um, yeah, okay, we only need a few more bits of iron to get the pick upgraded, so... Maybe we'll get some iron. Uh, once we get our axe back, we can focus on getting wood. We'll put our pick in for an upgrade, then we can focus on uh, other stuff. We need quite a bit for the upgrades. Rip lub. Damn, that was a good payday. That pumpkin juice, that pays the bills, man. Ugh. Oi, oi, oi. Hello? Hello there, Mana. So, your first year in Sarge Valley is almost over, huh? If you keep buying seeds from me, you'll be twice as productive next year. I have some exciting news. I'll be selling new seed varieties in my shop next year. Next year, I should have one new variety per season. Well, that's all I wanted to say. Have a good one. Okay. You know, I wouldn't even bother trying my competitor's seeds. Yes, seeds are the highest quality seed you find anywhere. That's a promise. You mean just like the vegetables that you apparently grow? Hmm. Dear Mana, tomorrow we're all gathering in front of Marnie's house for the Festival of Ice. It's a celebration of winter. There'll be snowmen, ice sculptures, and an ice fishing competition. Arrive between 9am and 2pm if you'd like to participate. Mail Lewis. Alright. Ice fishing comp, huh? I may be available for this. I can probably fit that in my schedule. Hmm. May as well just do more of them, it's something. TV? Oh, it is in fact Sunday. This is good. And I may even remember it. I'll go straight to it so I don't forget. Greetings. Plum pudding. Little Jack Horner is champing at the bit for the Yui Gooey Delight. And who can blame him? The plums are, plums are floral and sweet with just the right amount of tasteness to fully activate every last one of your eager taste buds. Oh, tartness. That makes a lot more sense. You'll just have to try it out and see for yourself. You'll have learned how to cook plum pudding. Okay. Okay. Wild plum, wheat flour, and sugar. Interesting. Oh my god. I'm slowly filling out the recipes. I guess this is your bowl for a while now too. Ain't you fancy. Two bowls. Yes, thank you for the TV reminder. Oh, I see. There's a festival tomorrow, isn't it? Oh. These are things I really need to check. Because that means I won't get my axe to the next day, doesn't it? This happened last time with something else. Uh. That is unfortunate. Thank you.
You should probably sleep IRL after this day, Mana. Um, what is the time? 3.34. Um, yeah, it's probably getting that way. That's definitely not the worst idea. Uh, yeah, I'll see when I get to the end of the day. Um, yeah, because I do want to get one of these upgraded, but I guess we're kind of stuck, like, yeah, you know, getting pushed further because of the, the festival. Oop, did not get everybody. Not even close. Oh, I'm sorry, Nugget, I missed you. My bad. Yeah, um... Hmm... Yeah, it's very inconvenient about that. Also, the calendar is something I keep forgetting to check. Uh, I did... I need to look at my note more. I have it next to chat, but it's still very, like, easy for me to not look at it. Um, yeah, because I knew it was Carol's birthday today. But yeah, I really need to check for festivals and things when I upgrade tools. That is unfortunate. Um, but does anyone have any suggestions for her birthday? What else do I need to check? Uh, I think we're all good. But yeah, I would like to try and get her something for her birthday if I have something she likes. I mean, I guess it's just something I should look up anyway, because, I mean, unless you guys know, I'll look it up. Because I can't really guess it. Kitty. Uh, we can mine. A gift card. Oh, he's a good choice. Uh, let's see. Fish taco, green tea, summer spangle, and tropical curry. Why well, ain't you fancy? Do I have a summer spangle? I don't think I do. Maybe. Oh, I do. Nice. Not sure if you have a summer spangle. Yeah, I, I didn't think I did when I saw the color, but yeah. Also amethyst for Emily. That is in fact a thing. What happened to my amethyst? Didn't I have 11 of them? I don't... Didn't I have 11? Oh, hello, Amethyst. How are you? Checks out. Now, where is green? Right. To the green. And the blue. Hello, Squirrel. How are you? Oh, lost book. Still need a yam, but that's good. Back. I hate when meetings could be emails. Ah, welcome back. I think she's here. Or is she next door? 
Are they in the creepy place? I'm still weirded out by that. You're not good enough friends with Pierre or Caroline to enter their room. Well, I mean, it, it's birthday time. I've never been religious, but hey, I'm a host. <laughs> Fair enough, bud. Fair enough. If I was rich, the first thing I would do would be hire a maid and a chef. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. My goodness, that would be nice. That that would be nice. Do you want gift? Oh yeah, yeah. I'll go see Blue then. Who's probably also inside. You like when meetings when they're productive. I'm the weirdo who likes meetings. Need the facial expressions and non-verbal body language cues. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, depending on what they're about, um, yeah, could uh, make quite the difference depending on uh, like an email. She'll be in the living room. Yes, she is. Oh, my favorite stone. You're so sweet. Huh? It's from who? Oh, you got it at Clint's? Well, I don't care where you got it. It's beautiful. Thank you, Smooch. Uh, how do you not feel bad for Clint with that? Ah, uh, that's rough. Yes? It's like, who? Oh, you got it at Clint's? Okay. I don't care. Ah, uh, it's rough. Best we don't tell him uh, how that went down. There you are, Green. I have a thing for you. Thanks, sweetie. That's very kind of you to ruin my birthday. Today I'm just gonna relax and think positively. Do you ever take a day off? Sometimes. Oh yeah, that was there. That was definitely a liked one. There's not much as joining my land. I appreciate it. One time Gus fell in the river during the ice festival. We had to build a huge fire in the saloon to dry him out. We were all worried we'd never taste his famous spaghetti ever again. That's rough. I wonder what other gifts he likes. Do he likes field snacks? Let us see. Maybe one day I'll find his basket. That'd be pretty cool. Also, those footsteps go somewhere here, right? I think. Hello. Shadow guy. Eep, you caught me. I'm sorry. Take it, take it. It looks so valuable. I couldn't help myself. Thanks. You received the magnifying glass. You now have the ability to find secret notes. These notes reveal rare and useful information and can be reviewed in your collections tab. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. All right, Linus's basket. I remember that was told like uh last place I would look. The last place you would think to look. Hmm. That's a curious one. Is it in his own tent? Linus, is your tent that disorganized, buddy? Is your basket in here? You hanging out up there? Oh, I'm sorry. I put your fire out. Are you hanging out in here? Is this where your basket is? Even someone like me needs to warm up indoors now and then. Ah, buddy. 
Have a fruit, have a field snack. I hope you like it. Hmm, this doesn't really do much for me. Really? I mean, that's fair, like, you know. It's, it's normal what I have preferences, I just didn't think you'd be that picky. Fair enough, though. Fair enough. Oh, yeah, that was straight up dislike for him. Alright, fair enough. More of a fruit cheese man. I can respect that. Basket. Get ripped. Oh, thank you. You're too weak to lift it. Oh, okay. I see how it is. That's fine. Oh no, my hat. I'm going to assume there's no basket in here, but I'm... I'm stumped on where it could be. We move oddly slow in here. Hello? Basket? Do you live here? Oh my, do we, lo we move so slow in here. Is this faster? Sort of. Splish splash. Okay, no basket. I tried. Ah, we gained our speed when we got our hat back. I see. It's a secret to our strength. Linus, my boy, would you accept some cheese? You already given Ah. Sorry, bud. No cheese today. I really don't know where the hell his, uh, basket is. Usually derail meetings, though, with random thoughts and reenactments from plays or TV shows, breaking out in a song, looking out the window at swans and geese. <laughs> I could see that potentially derailing. <laughs> Did you steal a basket? Is this present for me? Slay 1000 monsters to enter here. Oh, I see how it is. I see. Am I ever going to find his basket? How you doing, Smokey? I built a snow goon, but Demi made me get rid of it. Oh, that's rough. What's his problem? I don't know, man. Have some cheese. I hate this. Oh, I see how it is. Don't they even like cheese. I don't know, Jess. Doesn't even like cheese. My husband almost set the house on fire last night with his sci science experiment. One of his breakers exploded and sent a fireball into the rafters. Thank you, but I used fire-resistant lacquer when I built the place. Damn, you built the place? Damn. Not bad, not bad. You get too sleepy when it's cold. Have some cheese. This is a super gift, thank you. Ah, okay, Maru. New friend. Like gifts, nice. I made new friend. Usually meetings, if you can call them that for me, go, all right, what are we having for lunch? That's a good meeting. Lunch? Speaking of. Oh, looks like we're having algae. Yep, just an algae for lunch. It 
feel like I've been around quite a lot. I'm I'm quite stumped on his basket. It's not like a high priority, I guess. I'm just I I really don't know. I'm looking forward to making a snowman tomorrow. Okay. Do you like green algae? What were you thinking? This is awful. That's reasonable. Does that wait? Does bad gifts actually like knock you back? I hadn't thought about that. Well, either way. My meetings are usually just one person showing off their peacock feathers while all of us are like, wow, good job for doing your job. That's rough. I really want to find his basket, but I guess it doesn't matter that much. Mainly want to clear the quest. Not in his tent. Doesn't seem to be around the area. But... Where have I not looked? I've been down the beach. I went to the... I guess I haven't checked around this area. Malt. Malt. Uh, what else do we have? Yeah, the Pierre one. I assume that's just not going to happen. Ah, it's 22 days. Right, mesh. Is there a back button for these? Just that, I guess. I always escape, but I don't... Yeah, it's fine. Fix the giant sump. We're getting there. Catch a squid. Okay, we do need to do that in winter. And the basket. Blackberry seed. I mean, it was at one point. Hmm... I don't know, like, with the with the basket thing, I don't know if I can think logically about it or not. Or if it is, like, kind of weird. Because, like, does it make sense to try and think based on places Linus would actually go? Or is it just going to be in a weird spot that's completely unrelated to that? Hmm. All right, we don't have a chop up. Ah, I was say we should chop some trees while we have energy. <laughs> ah. Did I miss the sweet gem reveal? You definitely did not. It's living right here. Well, the berry is. It's by far the sweetest thing you've ever smelled. Hmm. Gonna sleep early today, man. Have a good stream. Bye, everyone. Oh, thank you for being here, Jess. Hope you have a good sleep. I will uh, probably be doing the same quite soon, I think. Unfortunately. Uh, I guess there's not much we can do. What is the time for me? Yeah, it is getting towards four, huh? Which means, yeah, well, it means I have family stuff in eight hours. Getting late. That it is, game. That it is. Have you started getting secret notes yet? Uh, I have access to them. Oh, I haven't gotten it yet. Take a stroll by the buzz. I will do so next time, I think. Not that I see anything. Okay, well, even if we don't get there, because I probably should wrap up shortly, I am, uh... I am thinking, unfortunately. I really want to keep going. It feels like, uh, I mean, we're going for four hours, I guess, but I do really want to keep going, but, you know, I have to be having family lunch stuff. Wait. 
I literally have never gone here. I didn't even think you could access this area. Can I go in the tunnel? Oh my god. I have never been here. Didn't even know this was an area. Huh. Yeah, I literally didn't know you could get down here. Yeah, we won't be able to save, but yeah, basket. You found the berry basket. Technically, you passed the area multiple times. Yeah, yeah. But I, I didn't think you could get down here. Oh my god, finally. We're here. Oh my god. Mana. Wait, can I go this way too? No, I cannot. Okay. Because that would have been another big surprise. I had no idea you could go that way. Bye bye, sleep, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I really want to do more, but I, I probably should wrap up here, guys, unfortunately. It is, uh, yeah. It's about to hit four for me. I have to be eating family Good Friday lunch stuff in literally eight hours. And I'm not usually one to fall asleep too fast. And I only got like four and a half hours yesterday. <laughs> so. Should probably play it smart and wrap it up. Ah, uh, there's so much more I want to do. I want to get the deluxe coop and the deluxe barn. And we still need more iron and copper and gold. And pets. We need a new pet turtle. Kitty, you want a pet turtle friend, don't you? Of course you do. Oh yeah. Bye bye sleep, I guess, indeed. <laughs> Thank you for being here, SPC. Thank you for being here, Mel and Jay. Thank you for being here, Adia. Thought I was gonna walk by the basket. Count sweet gem berries in your sleep. Thanks, Dream Runner. Thank you for being his way. So much to do, yeah. But if I went to six, that would mean I'd be getting a very questionable amount of sleep again. <laughs> But uh, it's good though, you know, I'm still enjoying Stardew, lots to do, so. But yeah, I'll, uh, should be good, like, normal tomorrow night, so we'll hopefully be able to do six or maybe seven hours of, uh, Twilight Princess tomorrow night, so. That will be good. Thanks for streaming. Thank you again for being here, SPG. Thank you for being here, Jojo. Enjoy your family slash religious festivities. Yeah, thank you to anyone who's been lurking. I always appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we'll um, yeah, so we'll go for probably like, uh, let me think. Yeah, we'll probably have like normal, hopefully longer, six hour ish. Maybe creep a little longer than I should. Uh, Twilight Princess tomorrow night, and then the next night will probably be more like tonight again. Since uh, I'll have Easter stuff, which is also going to be like lunchtime, so probably be more like uh, more like this again the night after tomorrow, and then back to normal. So we might do like uh, I'm not sure. We might do like Twilight Princess tomorrow night. I'm actually not sure the next night. Maybe we'll do Stardew again. Maybe like long Twilight Princess, short Asaju. Long Twilight Princess, maybe. Something. I'll figure it out. Anyway, Twilight Princess tomorrow for sure. Should be good. And yeah, be well everyone. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. Hope you all have a good rest of your day. Hope you have a good Friday if you do anything related to that. 
Be well. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll, uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.